fucking <laughs> thing sucks. We'll do it live. Okay. Get in, sit down, buckle up. Cruising whiskey. Get in, sit down, buckle up. Cruising whiskey. Welcome back to Cruise with Sake. Grim Sake here. Coming at you live on Grimerica FM. It is. Tuesday, August 11th, and we have a huge show coming at you guys. Biden announced VP nominations. I'm pretty sure Ghislaine's dead. I mean, well, let's just make theories up. Let's just get crazy. Joining me tonight, we got my number one man with me, number one, James Cruz. James Cruz! Fuck yeah. What's <laughs> up, man? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. <clears throat> and we also got Jerry Cthulhu. Hey, hey, hey. Remember, man who has hole in pocket feel cocky all day. <laughs> Starting off great. <laughs> we also got that guy. Two plus two equals five, but only for very large values of two. <laughs> <laughs> we also got Beast and Bill. One the note. <laughs> hey guys, love you. Love you, Bill. <laughs> and we got Flavor Town. Oh fuck! I wasn't ready, but now I am. <laughs> no, you are. You should have said. You should have said the wings of Hermes and started going. Oh, yeah. Like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then, then, we am got, I gonna have to re-listen to that? Because dude, I think you have to re listen. Died listening. But uh, we also good. got Nikki the dude. Hey, y'all! Sounds like another tasty Tuesday. Oh, it's it's delicious. Tasty Taco Tuesday. Tuesday too. <laughs> And rounding it out, we got Zach Hawkins. Who walks in the classroom cool and slow? Who calls the English teacher daddy O? <laughs> damn it. Guys, that was a flawless hey, intro. We nailed it. Yeah. We nailed it. <laughs> Hell yeah. So Kamala Harris, give me your thoughts. Talk to me. What's going on? He just Who's died. Again? Oh, hey, dude, you're talking about the wrestler, the wrestler <laughs> Kamala that died? Oh, Kamala. Oh, yeah, the wrestler. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, dude, they had to do the ritual. They performed a ritual and killed off yeah. that wrestler that was the, the Kamala name. And then they, <laughs> uh, yeah, and then, then Kamala Harris got announced as Joe Biden's VP. Yeah, how about that, dude? Yeah, that was. She can't, she can't do both at the same time. Guys, she was picked long ago. It wasn't just a new announcement. I mean, it wasn't well, a decision yeah. made this week. It was made two weeks ago, maybe three, because the Politico published an article remember that said that he was going to announce her pick on his pick oh on August 1st. there was that quick little leak was it yeah. dude but yeah. the, see, the problem is is so much shit happens it's almost like i just i disregard so much stuff because that that's just like a blip in the news cycle of a million other yeah. things happening when that no agenda I told you that, two but, years yeah. ago that she was going to be that man yeah. Yeah. Check the pin adam forward. adam and john hey hell they've been on it for a couple of years that i mean yeah. yeah, I you just told me, yeah, but I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Check out the it. pinned uh, messages in Gen Pop, and you'll see back where I said <laughs> it'll be Har- he's going to pick Harris. Watch. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna get proofs right now, Jerry. You're pulling that up. Poof. So we're using from, from me. Using, and, go ahead. Cruising, are we using cruising with stake predictions to write the future now? Well, dude, I, I honestly have always I felt that yeah. cruising with stake has felt the uh, it's it's fed the uh, it's it's fed the zeitgeist. It's there. We we feed the I, collective unconscious. Cruising with stake yeah, does. I mean, I hear I, things I, that we I, say I and I don't. Talk I predicted to aliens, so that's gonna happen, right? I mean, it's probably gonna happen sooner or later. Yeah. I mean, it's already I love how, in I love how we normally could only see the top of Bill's head, but now he put this th- his this fucking background up, so all we see is like a little little bit I'm in this thing of grass. Me. Like we can see even <laughs> less of him now. He's <laughs> even more <laughs> mysterious. Just the outline he's, of his forehead. He's just basically. deep in the weeds right now. <laughs> deep in the weeds. Deep in the weeds, Bill. He can't even come through. He's stuck in the grass. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I'm either in the weeds a nickel. Or, so, or I'm in space. <clears throat> So there, do you think the move is they're uh, they're they're trying to plan for Kamala to be president? Because Biden seems like they're just going to kill him off. They're just going to kill him off, like right when he gets presidency. He's already decrepit and just. Well, here's my question: Why even have Biden if that's tr- true? Right. What would be the point? Because Harris is not electable. 
planning for 2024. They're planning for 2024. They're not going to put guy. the A team out. Yeah, there, there's no way they can win. It doesn't matter who Biden picks. He's too demented. People aren't stupid. Well, but people or sometimes are. are they? The people who vote aren't going to be that stupid. Uh, dude, I don't know. I think there's a lot of fucking retards out there. There's a ton of oh, retards. Yeah. I think it's very. I think it's. I think it's. Regardless of what media says, because obviously I'm not using that to base my opinions right, off of right, anything. Right. But like, they could very easily make them win, easily, and it would. Oh, like that's I, a I whole be other surprised. issue that the media calls elections. <laughs> well, and... it's not just the media, but yeah, I mean they're the ones that that reveal the elections. Right. They, so imagine yeah. when the media says Biden wins when he doesn't. What's going to happen? <laughs> well, I mean, it happened when Hillary, Hillary didn't win. Nobody well, I, listens I, to the media anymore. I know, but what if mm. they call it wrong because of all the fucked up voting, right? And the media, they've been seeding this idea that Trump's not going to leave office and he'll contest the election and yada, yada, yada. He's a Nazi, yeah. right? Even, well, that, that's never happened before. And if the media says, look, Biden won, our, our experts say, you know, yeah. I mean, yeah, What's as long if, if if they all if they all claim Biden won, like Biden will be, like they could easily force it through. Counterpoint then, to that though, why didn't they just do that with Hillary? Because they didn't have the poll then. I I think it's gonna be a blowout. The majority. Man. Yeah, dude, they uh, want Trump, Trump to win. They yes, want Trump to this win. This is the they same program we've we've run. Look, the the incumbent Obama, the, uh, we ran a complete dud against him. Uh, Oh, uh, incumbent Bush. Yeah, we, Romney. You know, yes, we run. Yeah. We run. Idiots incumbent every Bush. Time they ran John Kerry whole, against yes, him. Just a yes. nobody. Like Biden right. is literally just every that old time. white man. Nobody. Like he's gonna and get crushed. Same, same yeah, problem. dude. It's a, it's the same agenda that we've seen over and over and over again. It's just right now we have social media, which hasn't existed to this level, and it's making everybody fucking insane because everybody yeah, has no. seen every little bit, every inch, every fucking movement that all these politicians exactly every movement all these <laughs> politicians make. Everybody sees. We're just Listen fucking here, choking I'll, on the bullshit. Listen here, fat. I'll challenge you to push ups. His, we can't see all his <laughs> furtive movement. Well, the other Man. thing that I found interesting was that they. The VP pick is from California. That's not even a. That's not even a like a purple state. Like there's no. It's not even a state. Isn't, isn't the VP pick supposed to be from like a contested state or supposed to win? Yeah, dude. That you know. Well, I, I don't fucking know. I don't think they really state. even care, what are you dude. Talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's a state, but it's gonna vote blue no matter what. Uh, <laughs> they're I don't, dude, they're not. I mean, I don't think I, you understand how much they hate Kamala Harris. <laughs> yeah, I t- Chicago, uh, Chicago, California is gonna be a toss up. Yeah, that, the, the Kamala Harris being the VP pick could could turn the whole thing red. It could. I think there were two congressional seats that flipped uh, in this cycle, <clears> if <throat> I remember correctly. That, that governor's pissing them off, man. They, they, these Democratic yeah, he governors probably are flipped some seats losing too. people. They're Dude, losing that, um, people. So remember that that chick, uh, what's her name? Katie something or other. She was a congresswoman from California. She was having sex with her intern mm. and oh, yeah. drugs, doing nice. having like a threesome on camera. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, Hell Harris yeah. was watching. Yeah. Remember who that? Remember the her? Wait, we talking about, are we talking about Frazzle Drip? The fucking God damn it, dude! No. <laughs> Frazzle Drip. Are we talking about Frazzle Drip now? Something. I'll look that guy's up getting uncomfortable right now. He's like, "Fuck, you guys brought up Frazzle Drip. I gotta get out of this Zoom room right now." Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's Frazzled Rip. It's happening right now. <laughs> Frazzled Rip. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jerry. Katie something or other. Anyway, her seat went to a Republican. She lost yeah. her she Well, quit, what's going on with Ilan Omar? I've, I saw you posted a bunch of disinfo that she's just getting deported. <laughs> <laughs> the, election, the election is today, right? Now, tonight, it should be over. Look now. it up. Let's get some facts. I, don't, I doubt if it's all mail and boating. There's Hell yeah. Dude, we'll just put her in days. James Cruz's fucking uh, apartment yeah. complex with the rest of the towel heads. <laughs> yeah, and if the rest of you, <laughs> those of you listening, if you're not just writing in cruising with steak on your mail in ballot, you're seriously. doing it wrong. Yeah, you fucking yeah. idiots. Come on. Seriously. You're <laughs> really close. Wasting it. You at least have yeah. a dozen presidents. If you, if you think <laughs> it is your round table civic, of a dozen presidents. If it's you real, think it's your civic duty. Oh, damn, vote. it's real close. Vote cruising Let's... with steak with your Patreon dollars. Yes. Hell yeah. 
yeah, speaking of, patreon.com slash cruisermistake. I want to say Armoro's been, uh, on the last two episodes, he's been hanging out. There's yeah. there's this magical dynamic that me, James, Flavortown, and Ar- Armoro have that you guys all just have to listen to on the Patreon. It's pretty good. <laughs> Dude, it's pretty they're, good. They're, they're mm-hmm. some of the best, it's some of the, it's, it's some of the best radio magic I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> just saying patreon.com slash cruise it's only the best dude it's the just five bucks a month you get a, you yeah. get a guaranteed show every week at least like an hour and a yeah. half two hours good ass content it's fun as fuck it's a little different from this show you know a little smaller but that's better. just the primary though right so they're that's not the even primary. gonna let her out of her own uh party oh that's yeah right. Elon. yeah who knows yeah yeah I'm sorry. I, this is my only we're just, it's my we're just like, news, man. I, we're just looking at Jerry's shared screen up. and all his yeah. code. And we're looking at oh, the oh, Matrix right now. He's oh, okay. just coding. <laughs> this is a coding oh, tutorial. We're incognito. Did you we're see those glasses? Come on. Oh, Dude, fuck. I'm pretty sure reflective glasses just shined on the screen. <laughs> oh, no. We're in gonna, thirst browser now. Jerry's, Jerry's going to click his katana and we're all going to slice in half. <laughs> Put down the Java <laughs> interpreter and back away slowly. <laughs> Oh, what's even going He's on? Hacking the paywall. He's hacking the paywall. He's hacking the paywall. He's in the mainframe now. Nah, so. dude, Ilan Omar's gonna win, just like Rashida Talib won, just like all of them are gonna win. Dude, roll them up. Dems are gonna take it. It's gonna be a Dem landslide because if you haven't checked, Jerry, there's an orange Cheeto fuck in the office, and we need to vote his ass out. <laughs> oh, if yeah. you haven't watched the news lately, yeah. you don't Get know what's out. going on. Orange we need to. Vote. We need- what we're looking at here. There's no like percentage of the vote that's. No. Numbers. And two hours ago, these are not the final numbers. No. Dragon. Oh, she won. Here, and they'll think, oh, it's. Jerry, are you too far away from your mic right now? I was now just going to say, is my audio turning to shit? I'm sitting here adjusting my headphones because I think everything is going to you're, shit. It's, you're lagging it's just, with the screen, Jerry. Okay, if it's just Jerry, like, I'm, I'm frantically okay. trying to fix my headset because I'm like, is everything breaking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jerry, we can't hear anything. Oh, Something's wow. going on bad right now. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, oh, well, no. God. Everything, not, no, it's so at, everyone say oh, nothing no, and be oh, completely no. silent. Yeah. Yeah. I thought my shit got all fucked. The mic's been drinking also. So how about them masks? <laughs> it said microphone. Are we talking about masks now? <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to vamp. I'm trying to yeah, vamp. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share a story right now. I'm gonna share a story right. that I had Let over the weekend. Real. There was, uh, you know, we're sitting here playing some Super Nintendo, and we're like, fuck it, let's see if there's any, like, vintage... Oh, there she is! The queen shows up! Yes! She makes well, it! Hello! Woo! Hello, Thank Suzanne! Thank you, sorry I'm late. Sorry, I'm no, late. no problem, I'm happy you made Hello. it. Hey, you're pregnant, right? Do I sound um, now? Yes, Jerry, you sound fine. Yeah. So, in order to do basically anything in, in, in around here, you have to have a mask on. In order to do anything. Like, you can't, you can't get into anywhere. So, um, we buckled down, got some fucking sick ass anime, uh, little gators, you know, just pull them up scarfs. But over the weekend, uh, hey go, like, gators. Ice. Oh yeah. 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 Lady Eboshi has an Ahego gator with the, Perfect. just, just, and, and I got a one piece one, you know, we're Excellent. full on weebs. Oh yeah. So we, uh, we're going to, uh, we're like, fuck it. We're playing some super Nintendo. Like, let's check out this game store. That's, you know, kind of nearby drive out there. First off, they have, we get there. It's like probably about a 20 minute drive, 30 minute drive. So we pull up, there's a, a a minimum five people allowed in the store at a time. And like, as we're driving there, neither of us have been there. So it's like, there's a line outside. We're like, is that the fucking line? We waited in, we waited for probably about a half hour just to get inside. And then like a minimum of five people selection was kind of weak. I mean, I, I picked up a super Nintendo game, uh, fucking, uh, uh, oh God, what was it? What did I get? Was it the, was it the Aladdin movie no, game? It was King, it was King of the Monsters 2. No, no, it was Ooh. not the... Oh, but, fuck, uh, right? Yeah, dude, King of the Monsters 2. Picked that up, and uh, Lady Boshi got some PS4 game. But, uh, dude, pretty sick story. But just the the whole... Dude, it was so fucking uncomfortable. There was at least five times in the line when I was like, let's get the fuck out of here. Like, I actually just wanted to quit. But then we just we, we kept going. But Did uh, they make you wear masks in line the whole time? No, no, no. Just when you got in the store. But yeah, there was big signs like, you must sanitize your hands and all this shit. Like, Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, it was, it's just, it's weird. Wait, you didn't have to wear a mask in the store? No, just you had to. No, no, not outside. Wait, in? we're not waiting in line. Just when you go get in. Yeah, you have to wear a mask. But yeah, not not in the lines. Only but, when you uh, breathe. Yeah, only when you breathe, you have to wear a mask. <laughs> Some What's of the, the drive But it was just fucked up. <laughs> and then we went, we went, all, we also went to, uh, <laughs> there was like this Tibetan shop that was uh, down this this strip. And this dude in there was like, yeah, fuck yeah, play with the singing bowls, sit here, meditate as long yeah. as you want, like ex- encourage us to just touch everything. And like, we, I had my mask down and stuff because he just didn't care. But there's, it's, it's strange. It's just, I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird energy. Like nobody fucking understands. At the grocery store. <laughs> what happened? What Jay? happened? I touch as much produce as I can. Yeah. Here. Oh, you're one of those people. <laughs> take, take the bottom orange. Yeah, just grab. Oh, yeah, you exactly. gotta check them out. And just walk away. Uh huh. He's like, man, I remember what melons feel like. Wait, tell me you haven't picked through a, a bin of garlic for good garlic. No, you told oh, me. I picked, dude, I, you have to. Right, I picked exactly. through everything. Stop picking through things. You, or, or like oh, looking for either. a good package of bacon, dude. I've yeah. dug through just piles yeah. of bacon, looking for that yeah. lean, fucking delicious cut. You gotta just check those backs. Which is this is a tip. You did you dig through pigs for bacon? God, there it is. That guy. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. You made it. You're the king. Everything (laughs) at the store I pick through. I look at the expiration dates. If I find a bad one, I'm gonna be digging for another one. Jerry, you're a smart shopper. I honestly, okay, I've always had this thought after like working grocery for most of my adult life that there should be a class to teach people how to grocery shop because literally people have no fucking clue when they're like in their shopping they're just they're they're clueless like how how to actually do it like how to just just grabbing shit no idea what they're doing like there's i don't know 65 percent of people shop when they're hungry too oh never shop when you're hungry that's that's (laughs) that's a disaster if I'm in a hurry, I just reach to the back, man. That's that's my rule. Yeah. <laughs> well, the problem is, here's here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. It's the kids that stock anyway. the shelves. The kids yeah. that stock the shelves now suck so bad they don't even rotate. So if you're going to the back, you're more Damn than it. likely getting the older shit. Like, I mean, it's oh, just, wow. I, dude, I, I've seen Oil so many game. shitty stockers come in oh, that just God, right? they don't they don't understand rotating. They'll just put dude, the old shit in the front and push it to work the back. In a store, okay. Right now, not right now. Yeah, Not at this moment. So you're, you're he could your run one in a heart ballad. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Jerry. Jerry, go fuck yourself. My opinion is, my opinion well, is man, more valid than anybody in the grocery store. 1945? <laughs> God damn it. Don't make me separate you two. It's been one 87. month. I haven't worked for one month. <laughs> Come on. Oh, so you work in a grocery store? Name Dude, all you know, the brands. I'll start my sugar daddy payments anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this guy. Oh, man. But yeah, fucking you guys Kamala already Harris. Talking about Kamala Harris. <laughs> yes, Suzanne. Come <laughs> on, my penis. Would you say on my Hold on, hold on a second. <laughs> hold on a second. That was a major synchro right there, Suzanne. We just, you just came in. <laughs> yes. I, I tried to just sidetrack with Kamala Harris. Then you brought yeah. up Kamala Harris. I just, where, where's the synchro yeah, bell? I was, and I was thinking about Kamala Harris, so yes. it works. It's like a there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know how by uh, Joe Biden finds his running mate. How how James? It sounds like a joke. Oh. It's a little sniff, man. A little sniff. <laughs> sniff. Jesus. <laughs> this sounds like a James Cruz joke. I don't think. Yeah. I don't know if I understand. I, I, I wouldn't even call it a joke. That was off the hip. I think. <laughs> that was <laughs> off. The hip. <laughs> Joe Biden's. He's he. he oh, that, that's how smells. he finds his running mate. Hell yeah, dude. He <laughs> sniffed her out. Except Hell it's Joe Biden, so it's off the hip her place. He is there. <laughs> It's there. Yeah, it's somewhere. What about you got a it. James? This is something you got to work through. It's here. You, go, I think, feel like it's, you, it, you worked a, with it, it a little bit. You I lost it because I lost in Bill's fucking weeds in the in the camera. Lost in Bill's <laughs> weeds. Yeah. Bill, how's Freemasonry going? I wouldn't know. I haven't been to lodge uh, in over two months. You we realize that eating. this was just a long con. All Ellie is is we got her to get you away from the Freemasonry. That- it's, just, it's just a very long con. <laughs> just to, she, she came into your life just to drag you away from the Freemasons. <laughs> you got to get out of that. It must be true. It must be true. <laughs> it must be true. <laughs> heard it on Cruising the Stake. It's only there fact. It you hear everything here first. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. But check the wiki first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, I went to that wiki. It needs some work. Yeah. Because nobody's fucking updating it. Come on, listeners, if you're in the chat, <laughs> go to the wiki and write some shit. No go way. to the wiki. 
what is i don't even know what the website is for that. i should put it in the show notes uh i think it's i pinned it a while ago <clears throat> come on who reads the pins come to the discord people if pins. you're a fan of the show i also, forgot how to get the pin just hit the pin the in the corner. Oh, yeah, yeah, they switched it on the phone. I'm on the it's, phone. Yeah, yeah, it's something on the bottom, or I think in, it's to the you right. You told me one time. It's like a, yeah, it's I like did, a multi step process to, to get that. the pins. You have to, hit the, um, you have to hit the little upper right hand corner with the two little people. Yeah. yeah just just sl- hit swipe, that, swipe and then to it the says right. Pins. Swipe to the okay. right. Swipe Suzanne. to the right. Yeah, yeah. just swipe okay. to the right. You're good to go. to the left. And pins will be on the top. Uh. What do we shake it uh, all about? Shake it all about. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so, so, okay. how about, so, do you San Andreas. Hear my thing on Camilla? Yes, talk to me, Camel? Suzanne. Give or it to camel me. Camel toes? I can't Camel toes, name, Harris. <laughs> all right. So, why did Biden pick her? She is like the least. She, he did. Uh, it's like you're voting for Kamala Harris to be president. Who the yeah. fuck is going to vote for her? And it's very tone deaf because everybody's protesting against cops right now. And she's like the biggest fucking cop that ever existed. And she's <laughs> not African-American either. She's a little level 99 cop. She's, she's, she's level of, 99 cop, man. If you, she's if you half think Brahmin poker. and half uh, Jamaican. If you, if you think poker, somebody's got an ace showing. Are you going to go all in? No. <laughs> I don't understand that. Wait, you're that speaking in code. The rest of the show. I don't get what. Realm. I don't know what you're speaking of. He he has like two two. He's got like a two and a and a three or something. Who Biden? Yeah, yeah. There's they're off suit no too. Hand there. No, a, a two three <laughs> off suit. He's, 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 that's what right I mean. <laughs> that's that's what I mean. Biden <laughs> has Biden has a four showing, and Trump's got an ace. <laughs> no, it's like a no. seven deuce. It's no. like a seven he's deuce not, off suit. I I honestly feel like whole thing. I don't think Trump has the ace. I think Trump has the most amazing bluffing ability in the world. Is what Trump truly has. Trump's probably I sitting think. with a he's sitting with a four or five or some shit. He's got nothing, but he's talking. He thinks he's the king. He's just the dude that turns the table over if it doesn't. Just over. flip the table, man. <laughs> this is the analogy. Trump's got ace king, and Biden's no. got paradeuces. No, no, Trump's got That's Trump's got a pair. This Trump's is some thick CWS Joker. just just analogy card two. analogies. Joker's I'm playing. ready to go. I'm playing. I'm yeah, playing he's all. They're going to install cash. Hillary. They're, it's going to be a brokered convention. Oh, there it is. Oh, they God, can. Suzanne, yeah. give it to me. Yeah, she gets Caw-caw. enough delegate votes. They can. She's oh. swooping in. She's swooping in. <laughs> go, Jerry. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just saying she's swooping oh, in. That's all I got. She's swooping in like five more times. I'll at least say it six more times. I'll say it as many goddamn times as uh, I want because she's going to swoop in. I love the picture of her in the fro, man. Oh, <laughs> the Supreme Court said that you cannot, they can't change their delegates from what they've pledged for. So the people who have already voted, how many have voted, though? No, they're already? pledged, the ones that are pledged, like the electors that are given based on popular votes and whatnot, however that works. Back when they voted, like back during the pandemic, sometime, <laughs> whatever that was. <laughs> so, right. they, so none of them got to a convention. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Right. None of them. But well, the convention. It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to be a Zoom. It's going to be a Zoom convention. It last time. I don't was, know how it works. All I'm saying not. is the Supreme Court says you can't change. They can't all pick Clinton if some yeah. of them are pledged for yeah. Biden. The ones pledged for Biden have to go to Biden. I think you know okay, you've got to be on the ballot first. But no matter what, they all have to work. It doesn't. Back. If oh, it's really? a brokered convention, it doesn't. Oh, right. oh here we go. But if, if it's, it's not a brokered convention. convention. If, yeah. if, if okay, the convention so damn, is on, Suzanne, yeah. I'm with you. <laughs> Bang. I'm with you, Suzanne. Give me Hillary. Just like this. It can't be brokered. <laughs> I take him too. Okay. Here we go. If it's if it's on Zoom, it's going to be a clusterfuck just like this. No one else well, has enough electoral votes to get a brokered convention. It's not a tie. It won't well, be just like this. No, I, I mean honestly, like what, we're not to electoral votes yet. <laughs> I'm still, still holding out hope. We're still back I, me too, Suzanne. I'm there delegates. until <laughs> until November. <laughs> fucking counted the delegates. Yeah. Nobody's got enough delegates except Biden, so it can't okay. be brokered. All right, so it's got to be Harris then. Yeah, brokered <laughs> conventions can't be just because they have to be tied or within a certain amount of, of delegates each, in which case it's not clear what the majority is. What That's if a- it's that 
Bill Clinton just gropes every single person <laughs> attending the. Mm -hmm. He's a bit event. rapey today. Could you imagine, like, <laughs> would be believing in a cause? Like, I'm going to go vote for the for someone in this organization, and someone in that organization includes fucking like Bill Clinton getting up in 2020 and like talking to people as if I want he has to something. A girl. Like, I'm going I'm to tell you. Say. Yeah, not only just relevant to say, just like. You know, yeah, like this this dude uh, is a fucking he's like not he's relevant. A, no, he's not, but I'm just saying like he's just he's pro most likely he's allegedly, I should say, a pedophile. Uh um, most definitely a rapist. Yes, mm, and definitely, and definitely yeah, right. and, and what your definition of is is. Yes. Then, <laughs> all I want to know is why can't I just I why can't I just Google Oprah Ellen and Tom Hanks all in a Dude. string <laughs> without a ton of debunking stories coming in saying it's how they insane. are a part of some kind of fucking conspiracy? Howard Stern's like came out and gave her advice. Give it Ellen Degenerate some advice. About you know what's gonna happen, you guys. Gitmo or... I'm telling you, <laughs> what 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 is gonna happen? And we you pick up yes, the soap. Yes. <laughs> We're to send Porsche yes. when the reality is gonna happen. Howard Stern's is... got hot tips for, but... for, for Ellen. How to put money on her commissary? Uh, <laughs> speaking of hot tips, he told Ellen she put on a Serbian right. over here. Martha Stewart would have some hot tips for her. Yes. Yeah. I don't know, man. Bitch. I think Dude, Biden and Kamala are going to win. Ellen when he got to oh. interview uh, Cl Hillary Clinton. Who did? Howard Who? Stern. Oh. Oh yeah, that was a while. Ago. Yeah. That was yeah, it was a while ago. But that was when yeah, she was going to run. Yeah. She might still be running. She's she's slowly right, building it was her right campaign. Before that. All I know is why is well, Hillary Clinton still so relevant? Why is there a news article back. about her every single fucking day? Every single day. Every so single I, day uh, there's a news oh. article about her. She's going to have some either major position in some sort of cabin or she's running again. Yeah, hello, Secretary of State. Damn, she's taking it. Oh, of are, we she doing, is. are we doing Why Benghazi? Are we doing Benghazi oh, round two? Benghazi two. What oh. difference does Do it make? Do you realize exactly, the amount of money she's got built up from Obama? <laughs> Set up in foreign deals with the Clinton Foundation. She, well, she has a lot of favors she has to pay off. <laughs> exactly. So, yes. and once I guarantee, if she gets put underneath the side, desk, she's got it. The minute she gets put back in office, watch and watch the Clinton Foundation like come out of insolvency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah. I can't wait. It'll show back out uh, like yeah. It'll make it's the it'll make the conspiracy podcast more fucking fun to listen to. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a conspiracy at that point. I mean, it's evident. No, it isn't. Everything's <laughs> just happening right in front of us. I just read an article today about Ghislaine Maxwell, who she's getting taken off suicide watch. So you know she's going to be dead within a week. Oh, yeah. 100%. You know what that means. And, and I also want to say, guys, uh, well, happy, happy Epstein anniversary of Epstein yeah, not killing himself. Right? Yeah. That was yesterday. It's been right? a fucking Epstein's year already? Yeah, it's been and a fucking year. Isn't that crazy? Like, no I way. Swear to yeah, God, dude, like, it has been I a year since Epstein. Yeah, oh my it's God. fucking nuts. It's been so, six months since the so lockdown. The They're fucking was wow. time, people. They're fucking <laughs> Where we been? time. Where have we been locked down? Me. Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> yeah. Again? Eps, yeah. 2.0. Yeah, it should be. I don't think we ever made a step uh, a, a show title. Should Epstein didn't kill didn't himself. Kill herself. Oh, Max, man. <laughs> Maxwell didn't kill himself. That one's very <laughs> close. Yeah. Damn. Epstein can't melt steel beams. <laughs> There you go. Maxwell yeah. didn't kill Epstein. Don't come. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking madness. It's almost nine eleven too. Damn it, Flavor Town. There's, yeah. there's so much silence okay. there for a I second. Something's happening on the second. <laughs> I believe something's going to happen on September second. I don't know what yet. Yeah. There's so much. Yes, yeah, Suzanne, you were you were all hyped about that today. What's the Gabacho saying? <laughs> it is. Well, there's yeah. a lot of stuff that happened in history on the second of September. World War One or World War Two started on the first of September. Mm. So hmm, I don't know. Something's Maybe. coming in September. Well, I mean, every single year there's always what that uh, asteroid <laughs> around September twenty third. <23rd. laughs> yeah. That's yeah, I did say coming. <laughs> around, around, like, every year though they're like oh the big one's gonna fucking blast us this time I can't wait till, new, till Nibiru comes back Nibiru? Uh, Nibiru, wow. baby. Nibiru. my favorite planet <laughs> yeah. Nibiru God damn Nibiru give me that Nibiru Nibiru yeah. yeah, California's gonna get mud flooded soon yeah it's Maybe very I'm soon all those go into the now. ocean small oh, cluster man, earthquakes I've been waiting on that for years some, 
You just want to suck some Anunnaki cock. <laughs> wow. Give me that That's Nephilim right. dick. You can't spell Nibiru without I rub you. Just saying. <laughs> that wasn't directed to Suzanne, by the way. That was to Grimstick. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> of course, Jerry. <yeah. laughs> Oh, the Anunnaki are going to Philly first. That's Mud Flood Capital. So, Mud I Flood mean, Capital. Yeah. yeah. Then you can go get your dick sucked Oh, dude, there's on fucking California castles here. Island. I'm just driving by castles asking Flavortown, what's up with these castles? Yo, what's up with all these castles? Dude, castles. <laughs> Grim, you should totally hook up with uh, Michael Wan and go I, oh, get a tour of the Susquehanna. Uh, I've, I have that'd 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 my God, yes. Oh, Michael Wan, that'd be wild. The Susquehanna? Remember? The yeah, you Susquehanna guys, guy. He, yeah, he does. If Susquehanna he's not a high mind, I'll kayaks. I'll I'll whip. I'll fucking bur- beat off on camera. But no, I think you guys would hit off. <laughs> Wait, we're beating off on camera. What just <laughs> no, happened? Here? No, no. What? I was wondering what that guy was doing. I was just trying to get a rise out of you. <laughs> did, I, did I mention I'm drunk? Okay. Are <laughs> you? I'm trying. Hell yeah. We always knock a few down on the Epstein. E or yeah. post Epstein. Oh, have they put the island up for sale yet? That's what I've been waiting. We should on. buy that Epstein's island. island? Oh, I've sure been looking for a compound. You know, that's <laughs> like, it. ready made, right? Dude, uh, I bet. Hell, I'll finance it. Everything's crashing, anyways. What the Booty Rooter can hook you up. He like basically knows everyone come get at me Epstein off of Island. So yeah, Booty Rooter is basically best friends with Epstein. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, so I mean, I'll definitely we'll just get in touch with him. Just add him, and he'll hook yeah, you just up. Add yeah, I promise I'll Epstein. steam clean it for you. So hook anybody. me up with your Epstein boys. <laughs> Do you think they have all the creepy art still in there? Like oh. when they go to sell it? Uh huh. Totally. Clinton in Who's the blue take dress? I gotta have it. Man. Well, dude, you remember the drone footage of Epstein actually being at the island? Like after he was dead, there was that weird yeah. video with some dude that looked identical to him just yeah, standing the there. Uh, the yeah, the Shackelford video. Yeah. Wait, there's a name to it, that guy? Yeah. Ron Shackelford. Yeah. Was he the dude that did all the drone shit? He he was. Uh Mm. Didn't they try to say that that was McAfee? Did he kill himself? No, no, no. No, no, okay. No, he's he's still good. Cool. (laughs) Someone tried to kill the president. Yeah, what's up with the IRS? Oh, that's right. Yeah, what happened Yesterday with that? During the, yeah, the that guy, give me some info. I know you got it. Yeah, so uh, I was just, I was watching the, uh, I was watching this press conference. Uh, they said that he was going to have some kind of a big revelation. And he, he actually tweeted out, hey, press conference at five o'clock. Everybody enjoy. He, d- he does or, that every know, single day. Was. Every day. Yeah, it's yeah. one of those. So he uh, was out there and he was talking about, uh, he was talking about, Corona Chan and how it's getting so much better, et cetera. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, the sliding door to the right of the lectern opens up and in comes a, a Secret Service agent, whispers in his ear, and uh, Trump didn't say another fucking word and just walked straight out. And then the door Did closed. Did you notice then- that? Uh, okay, I watched this video, I want to say. When that happened, yeah. there was body language with Trump where he looked back. He gave this like hard look back at the crowd and then he walked in. Mm-hmm. Like I, I could see QAnon guys jumping all over that right there. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is Q bait. Cause he just yeah. did. He, he yeah, did it. Yeah. And he, he looked just around. told the, the pedo team. To Dude, he did. Out. He did this, this hard the look. Like, this is, the, the Secret Service also goes, this is the time we need to get to the tunnels. Yes, <laughs> we, totally. We need you there to, yeah, break, yeah. Down the do- we need you there to break down the door. Sorry, Damn. I didn't get any of that. Just even without even. Without even breaking a sweat, he just goes. <laughs> he did. He was such a hard a look. Fucking word. He did. If you look back at that video, you'll see what I'm talking about. A hard look, just a glance, real quick. I'll, I'll take a look. I'll take a look. I didn't see. Why, hey, President? There's no kids down there. <laughs> Probably not. I don't know. Yeah, man. It was just though. all the. It was just all the fucking aliens we had stashed down here the whole time. That's that was it, man. <laughs> no, the aliens. kids are rescued. Alf ate one of the cats, and <clears throat> so what? What was up with the shooter? Did they find out what was going on, or any kind of details or information about well, it? Well, there has the not Secret been. Secret Service shot someone. I don't think I, it was a shots it were was. fired. No, there were there were no, shots. They shot no, I mean, him. like you can't shoot I'm somebody saying, without firing shots. Uh, but... No, I'm saying like I don't <laughs> think the person who like the person who was shot wasn't necessarily shooting. I think it was just the Secret Service who were shooting. Uh, I haven't what about heard the any shots the that were fired before that? I don't. I I wasn't there were aware. No shots I, fired except by the Secret Service. Yeah, the, right. when the reports of but, shots fired was going off, that was the thing. 
Shots fired is Nickelback is up to something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yes, James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Give me that Nickelback. Juice. Hell yeah, dude. Shots dude, fired. What is it, like uh, August 14th? The they popular, got something? if Hell divisive, yeah. uh, Canadian rock group coming out <laughs> August 14th. Yeah. They just have like a, 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 a tweet sent out, like with a. Dude, maybe it's an the album final cover. seal. When yeah. Nickelback releases a new album, it's, <laughs> it's literally the final, the final seal. seal. Like, some shit's going to get released. Control art <laughs> restriction. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, James. Total control art restriction level. Restriction level zero. Yeah, Pull just open it all up. On. Was the first seal then when the Eagles got back together? <laughs> no, dude. The first over. seal was when Harambe got killed. Yes. Once her, when Harambe got killed, and then everything spiraled out of control after that. Trump got elected president. Shit just got fucking wild. Dude, Harambe mm-hmm. was the total first seal. I would argue that shit didn't get really wild until the eclipse. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, well, no, that's dude. Bad. I mean, honestly, Trump, because just with Trump's election, that was just a major shift just on ev- everything. Like that's, And then the eclipse happened after that, like a year later, kind of just like sealing the magic of of Trump or something. I, it was like, like I don't know. Six months after Trump got elected. Uh, well, yeah. August of 17. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a, a funny tweet that somebody Seven replied months. to about this album possibly coming out 2020, leaving nothing in the chamber, right? <laughs> yeah. Just, oh, just man. let it all out this year, man. Fuck. <laughs> that is an understatement. <laughs> no shit. It's fucking wild. What's up with all the explosions? There's been a I shit know. ton of yeah, explosions was, going on. We have a theory about that. Yeah. Talk to me, Suzanne. Jerry. Go ahead. Tell them what our theory is. Go ahead. I'm too buzzed. <laughs> that, it's, that it's all the energy from all the people are causing these oh, yeah. explosions. I, I would believe it. so It's like some sad. sort of spontaneous <laughs> human combustion, but Just projected almost. <laughs> all this pent-up Basically. tension. Yeah. Where was that picture I had that I gave you? Well, because there was that gas station that just blew up in Russia the other day. There's literally been explosions all over the fucking world. Yeah. Like, like just in August, there's there's been an insane amount. I've got an infographic. And Lebanon's just getting (laughs) full on cooed right now. Like they had an explosion in Russia, I guarantee you, it's it's tied to uh, insurance fraud somehow. Yeah, probably. (laughs) Exactly. Get that dash cam. It's not a coup. It's a revolution in Lebanon. Oh, yeah. Well, they've already, the well, prime minister is it, said is the it, government's who's done. Who's backing it, though? Who's backing all the protesters in the Lebanon? people. For, uh, for real. Allegedly. Real. Oh, thank you, Probably Suzanne. CIA. Yeah. Yes, yes, thank you, <laughs> Suzanne. <laughs> I don't know. CIA is not going to get involved. It's on the Wesley Clark uh, 7 what? list, man. Lebanon, <laughs> Lebanon has been on the Wesley Clark 7 list, even though that was like fucking <laughs> 20 years ago. It <laughs> still is still an effect. Don't like that. Did you say something about Homeland? Important histories there, yeah. But important histories there. We that we could tie some, we could tie some, untie some knots maybe or something. You know. (laughs) Remember when Lebanon was was occupied by Israel? Yeah. Yeah. Remember or Beirut? Yeah, we were in there. That was crazy. What? How many Marines did they kill? We we were occupied occupying Beirut. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. We well we were. But I forgot about that. Yes. Yeah, it's been turmoil forever, but yeah. Damascus, you know, well, I'm Actually, in Syria now. I'm sorry. It, no, it wasn't. Did. Yeah, it wasn't turmoil forever. It was. It was really nice in the 70s and and 60s. It was beautiful there. And then it went to hell. I mean, it was like uh, it was like it was like Riviera, uh, Riviera. Jesus. Riviera. <laughs> <laughs> Have another one, that guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I we feel know like a saying. regular now. Yeah. Everybody's adding extra <laughs> syllables in. Oh, they got to throw extra syllables in. Oh, yeah. 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 Adding extra syllables. <laughs> syllables. Well, I say good for the Lebanese people. You know, hopefully something good will come out of this for them. Maybe. I hope so, too. But it really just seems like another CIA fucking coup, coup mm-hmm. that's going on. They're, I mean, it's it just in it, the middle. Man, it might be. Been. I mean, it could be another wag the dog thing. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. But I mean, Either how many governments seem have... to be behind it? That's all. Well, has Trump even made a comment on Lebanon? No. Lebanon yet? No. Uh, how horrible, horrible, horrible situation. He, yeah. He, That's he all he says. Yeah. About it. Uh, yeah. Saying yeah. that it was, there was a, it was an attack. I mean, are they, they're not an ally. I don't know anything about geopolitics. Yeah. Are they an ally? Lebanon? 
No, like, they're 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 not really. They're a palm. They're... they're a palm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, yeah. That makes sense. Ridiculous bullshit. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what much. it is. <laughs> Thanks, oh, Don, Donnie, 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 Don. But we're yeah. so winning still. The yeah. thing is, okay, the housing market is still doing really good. They're selling houses like crazy. Andrew said that they're doing a ton of refinances. People are fixing up their homes. So that's good, you know, as far yeah. as the stock market and everything. And because I really thought there was going to be a big housing crash. And luckily that hasn't happened yet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the stock market's still doing fairly gold, well. Gold plummeted. Did it? Oh, yeah. did it again? Oh, I yeah. Didn't no hear shit. That. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, silver's making a break for it. Silver's been. I heard the market <laughs> crashed pretty bad after the whole Biden announcement, too. Sil- <laughs> silver, went, silver went down today, like. Four per, four bucks, three bucks, Did something it? like that. Silver so I was dude? talking to Andrew, my my oldest son, and he we were talking about you know shit hits the fan, place to go, stay, blah blah blah, what you should buy, and I said, look, people are gonna want stuff that that they're gonna want, like cigarettes, alcohol, food. Yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of commodity. That mm, you want to stock up on, and you're yeah. going to be able to trade for what you need. <laughs> well, yeah, because I mean that's the first thing. You know? like, Casinos, you saying? <laughs> yeah, it, it won't be until like like hey, shit gets really bad. Need, yeah, like cigarettes will be a thing that people will want, like the, the addiction. Yeah, and alcohol. Oh, yes, yeah. cigarettes, yes, grass, yes, uh, yeah. and, and the yes. but but also Twinkies. Yeah. <laughs> we're going with the prison economy model here, here we go that's it grassroots prison economy mm-hmm. that's i love Ride the stocks are through the roof we gotta start running it man yeah <laughs> look we how start much running money moonshine we dude we right that's what i was thinking moonshine. i got a car in yeah. nascar man <laughs> yeah <laughs> Fuck yeah. OG. I'll let you Fuck drive, it. James. I'll, I'll drive, man. motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'll you old James Car Crash. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> you want to see how fast I'm going to get from fucking Ohio to uh, California? <laughs> hey, yeah. LTD with a 200 gallon tank, thing. Gator. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. <laughs> I, I, I hope there's no floorboard on this thing because my foot ain't stopping. This is going on. Uh-huh. That gas pedal's fucking going. Oh, if you ain't first, you last. That's right. There you go. <laughs> <clears throat> I gotta tell you, I saw that that show, that movie. Uh, uh, was it Talladega Nights? Yeah. First time I saw it, drunk off of my ass, had a great time, laughed yeah. the whole way through. Kind of like tonight. Saw it again a week later, completely sober, laughed my ass off, had a great time through. It's a fantastic movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I don't understand the Will Ferrell hate in that movie. Anyway. Oh, I don't know. Beautiful. Uh, oh, the, Thank you, baby it's pe- Jesus. It's, it's people that don't like the baby Jesus. <laughs> baby Jesus. Six <laughs> pounds, my favorite too. Say, oh, yes. like my help tape. me, Tom Cruise. Help me, help me, I'm on fire. The wrong kid died. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a great one. Ricky and Bobby. I don't, yeah, anarchy. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I love it. Mm. <laughs> oh, there it is. There's like the picture. The French pancakes. Jerry? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, dude, there's one, there. two, three, yeah. four, five, yeah, six, seven, eight, Sasha nine, Baron ten, the fucking 11. Yeah. Bat, the, the, the rival race car driver. In 12 the, explosions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 12 Angel explosions Ricky in Bobby. August. What does he race for? Like Pierre Two conversations going on right yeah, now. Perrier. Yeah. Yeah. Or Perrier, was it? Perrier. It's Perrier. like being it's in between okay. radio stations, isn't it? Two conversations. Oh, yeah. I'll talk about all the explosions in August while Jerry, while James is talking about oh, fucking... Yeah. Talladega Nights. Talladega Nights. We got to talk about Talladega Nights. It's we'll, ha- we'll have two podcasts going on. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. John C. Yeah, Riley and Ryan. Will Ferrell, the, the outtake. Oh, man. Real is the best part of the oh, movie. Yeah. Shake and bake. <laughs> All those commercials. <laughs> Shake and bake, Lady of Mercy. All right. All right. You're standing right next to him. Just get on camera and say it for Frick's sake. Shake and bake. But you got to do the dance, too. I'm, yeah. I'm not taking any uh, half-stepping bullshit from you. <laughs> oh, half-stepping <man>. bullshit. <laughs> oh, man. Confusing with movie. confusion. Yeah, That's man. what we do. I mean, it's goofy. what it is. It's it goofy. Is yeah. Okay, here's... I'm, I'm going to put a little thought. 
If there's any first-time listeners to the oh, show, wow. and you've made it, and you've already made it 48 minutes in this somehow, I just want to say you, know, you could go to any podcast and listen to a guest, or listen to the same fucking <laughs> bullshit, listen to the same person talk about the same stuff and the same repeated bullshit, or you could come to Cruise Mistake and just listen to us kind of talk about it all and in, in jest. Like, come on, yeah. just just hang out. It's, it's and get revelations and news every, every now and then. It's there before everyone it, else. It's it's all there. There's little exactly. It's there. There's gems. <laughs> exactly. We predict the future. Where we answer the steak 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 Where we where we answer where we answer the age old question. Exactly what kind of nipple ring is that, James? That'd be a four gauge Cuomo ring. Oh jeez. The four gauge Cuomo nipple ring? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, God. the and, capture ball type. Yeah, and where does Another that one. wire disappear from there to the bottom of the screen? Where does it, where does it go from there? <laughs> it goes to his tens unit. Uh, the tens unit. I'm not sure what that is. James. Oh, James has electronic stimulation, baby. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Teledelonics. Oh, the teledelonics you're talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. now. No, yeah, I don't use that. No, we're talking about water. Electro. Just put Norco. Oh, yeah. Let us electro. feel good, okay? <laughs> no <laughs> tens unit. <laughs> just yes. call it. We just get, get wet and then slap a tens unit on you. Oh, that's light. Uh, they call yeah. it e stem, Graham. <laughs> what the e stem? Yep. Yeah. Ride the lightning. Damn. Oh yeah. Ride oh, yeah. the lightning. Yikes. Oh shit. <laughs> That was a good one. So thanks for coming to the show tonight. <laughs> oh, you we can't get it, James. Get it, anymore. Get it James. <laughs> get it. Somebody needs to have some story. What happened this week? Oh, oh man. I'm oh, tired today. I got a story. Yeah, oh, go give for me, it. Give me a story, real. Suzanne. So the other night, Ben and I went to McDonald's drive through like at, I don't know, it was like one o'clock in the morning. Or all, well, no, they close at one. So it was like 12.55. This dude... Oh my God. He was the scariest looking guy I've ever seen in my life. He was going and looking in every car and just staring at people. Oh, oh, and then like he would stand next to your car. So he crossed in front of the truck and was like staring at Ben. Ben's like almost six five, right? He's huge. And I'm thinking, if this guy is gonna try to mess with me or something, it's not gonna go down very well because I'll run his ass over. And yeah, hell yeah, right Susan. My truck. <laughs> but you know, have you ever been in a situation? And then he was standing next to my door for like three minutes straight. Weird. Because they, I don't know, something was happening that people in front of us couldn't pay or something. And anyway, so it was taking forever. But he's just standing there. And I was trying to like keep my eye on him mm-hmm. <laughs> without looking at him. <laughs> was he, he home? Had, Did he like, look there homeless? Was nothing, or? There was nothing <laughs> behind his eyes. Oh, he wow. had oh, you... been on a ton of drugs, but he had all these oh, yeah. neck tattoos. He looked <laughs> crazy. Whoa. Oh yeah, and well, not yeah, he was probably just make you crazy. He's definitely I'm just a just, uh, just drug addict, just gone. Oh my, God. just just completely was... gone. Yeah, but he was yeah. scary looking though. That's mm-hmm. the thing. He looked so scary, like like he could have cared less if he could have killed us. And he I was, like... you know. Did he look like the Antichrist dude walking through the desert? Kind of. Constantine? (laughs) He did kind of. California is such a beautiful place. Just, well, here in Davis, you don't see stuff like that, right? So we're kind of this little insulated community, (laughs) even though Sacramento's right there. But I was, I was so, you know, when you're sitting there and you're debating whether you should take off or whether you should stay, like you feel yeah. like your life could be in danger at any yeah. second. And so you don't know what to do. You're like, oh my God, I want to leave, but over. I got to stay, but I want to leave. I would totally would have run him over if I had to have. <laughs> oh yeah, run his ass over, <laughs> Suzanne. With that. that's, that's the move nowadays, man. It's just part of the protest. <laughs> that's, <you know>? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yes. Anyway, so that was my protester scary sign up for that. Yeah. Wow. Friendly fire. You get into wow. Antifa heaven if you get run exactly. over by a... Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, there man. You go. Yeah. Uh, uh, y'all oh, talking, dude, how, what's what do you got? You were talking about y'all going to be on uh, uh Union of the Un- Unwanted or whatever next Oh, week. hell yeah. Next week we James yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh shit. I was listening to one of those today and they, they were talking about in New York City, a crazy dude had a pipe, a piece of pipe 
section out in the street, like swinging it around and breaking windows in stores and stuff. And the cops were standing there with the bystanders. Everybody's just watching him, you know? And yeah. uh, somebody said, you're going to do something. And they said, man, we got to call the, uh, we got to actually call in to the precinct and ask permission Whoa. to approach him, not, not arrest him just to approach him. Wow. Yeah. Jason Burmas was the one that was on there. Was yeah. About yeah. That. He's bailing from New York, man. Like now, you know, he's totally That's crazy. He's talking. Wow. wow. Chicago, man, <laughs> Chicago the other night, they had like a fuck. There was some, okay. Fucking so there, war was, zone, dude. there was like a cop shooting in, uh, in Inglewood. Where obviously, I mean, everybody's literally <laughs> armed in there, so well, it's, it was probably obviously. a shootout. You know, the cop shot somebody, so there was a huge. This is what they're kind of blaming it on, but there was like some fucking organized just breaking and like, dude, they they busted into so many stores and just looted so much shit on Chicago in Chicago the other night. Well, so, and Gabbana and I mean, it's gonna I, happen. I, I saw a video of of someone who was a woman who was raiding a department store trying to figure out how to get the how to get the purses off the cable lock uh and as but she's running to, on i can't breathe the whole time yes <laughs> i can't breathe i can't, breathe. <laughs> I can't it was breathe. awesome wow. don't tell me that I ain't no scissors up in here <laughs> <laughs> you don't know to bring bolt cutters man yeah you, know, you better bring I mean, first shit, thing, right? a, a good protest you know it's like amateur hour yeah <laughs> you have right? wire I mean, at least do some research people that's all yeah, we're because, asking you know you know these the chains right. can't keep me down right that's why you bring <laughs> the bolt it. cutters that's it. yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> yeah. i mean you gotta have the it's like protest uh bug out bag right they're just yeah. no they're just not even trying they're just nah. not even trying nah. yeah. well it's yeah. just weird how well, i don't know they, they, they've yet to loot a welfare a welfare office though have these kids <laughs> today i tell you and moms and they dads. should have to claim that shit <laughs> on their taxes yeah <laughs> yeah man claim yeah dude we all no. uh, you we don't have to claim see those everything taxes. fuck them <laughs> they really created a, a they really created a perfect storm with this like the mask that mandate and like the protests and like the the window smash none of how like it is crazy though how some of those guys get identified and then the then the un yeah then the unmarked like minivan rolls up and you know the secret Drops police get out and shove yeah, them in a van <laughs> and they're like what are you doing and then they're then they're yeah then they're just yelling out like contact uh Jim Schwartz he'll bail you out fucking <laughs> yeah like it's like crazy as they're speeding off like they just Time I after like, time, I, you, we'd see weird videos like that. I, I kind of like. Time. Oh God! Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I liked the Portland protests where they were going through the where they were going through the neighborhood with the with with huge groups of people you know, yelling, uh, uh, you know, Black Lives Matter, you know, in the most annoying possible yeah. way. And as people were coming to the windows and looking, they were shining lasers in their faces and stuff. Right? Yeah. And the, and the cops showed up, and um, it actually, it wasn't it wasn't the city police; it was the sheriff. And the sheriff uh, set up a line and just started marching them backwards. And they, uh, the protesters started to retreat. And then somebody decided that they wanted to get funny. Yeah. And uh, whoever was right behind the line reaches out and grabs somebody, drags them behind the line. Then they rough them up a little bit, zip tie them, and throw them to the prisoner handler in the back. <laughs> and in the, process of, in the process of doing this, dude drops his, uh, dude drops his megaphone his uh his uh, bullhorn on, oh, on the street and the cops clearly don't want anybody else to get a hold of the bullhorn <laughs> so uh, one of them runs over and stomps on it and one of the protesters had the temerity to say that wasn't yours to destroy why did you do that <laughs> <laughs> beautiful irony yeah oh my God. Oh. <laughs> man the correct spelling of irony is <laughs> mm. It's, it's it's there's a lot of weird shit going on, man. Like I feel like whatever's you can thank happening, our education system for what, this. Well, whatever's I, happening with this plan. Black Lives Matter movement and here. everything, but it's it's discrediting any sort of future protests that actually will will mean anything. Yeah, oh, all yeah. of this is all of this is you know, discrediting anything. Media is using the anarchists a lot. 
they want to discredit that word even more. Oh yeah, totally. Um, yeah. 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 The thought of people but not see, having people leaders. People aren't even using anarchists right. No, because they exactly no. they don't fucking know what it means. It's retarded. No, they're, they're not they anarchists. They don't know what it they're means. They're Marxists. Yeah. The, well, exactly, Trump but they mislabel them on today. purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's well, they know they know an anarchy movement would truly be something that they would have to worry about. You've got people it just checking out. Because you know? They wouldn't I mean, be fighting you. Yeah, it's, it's yeah but a, if they they want to control you though. You know, you disappear. You know, how they gonna control funny, though, that? How they were so concerned about all the militia groups and all that stuff. Who's been the most compliant? The fucking militia groups. Yeah, right? Exactly. They're not out yes. there, you know, causing havoc. It's because there's no you know. such thing as Boogaloo Boys. There's no such thing as any of this stuff. It's oh. all fucking internet. It's all Boogaloo internet. It's all the internet. freaking made up. Yep. It's completely I, made up. I heard it yeah. up on another... Go ahead. And... Go ahead, Zach. No, ahead. I'm... I'm all right. Um, I heard it brought up on another podcast I was listening to earlier today, but uh, there was a meme that had the old... Uh, it was a Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd cartoon where you know, Bugs just kept drawing lines in the sand. You know, they yeah. put the text over him, Boogaloo Boys, and over Elmer Fudd, it was like, you know, FBI Yeah, it was with Yosemite Sam. I know that one. Yeah, it was Yosemite Sam. Lines, they kept going back, forward. Step back, yes. step back, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just kept going over the line. Like, that's all yep. it is. It's yeah. like nothing will ever come of it. It's just a bunch of people flexing online. Everything that we've established. That's why I don't think anything will actually manifest in the real life. Like, I think everybody, like, the internet will explode. The hate online will explode. Oh, yeah. But that's, I just... That's why we've been given movies to uh, yeah. go ahead and exercise that little fantasy because it's not going to happen. Right. Yeah. Just like yeah. space flight, dare I say. Yeah, space is oh, fake. What if? You know what the real, you know what's real, though? The sultry tombs is, tunes of Felix Ortega. Oh, he's oh, just he he here. He, oh, he has man. some beautiful jams. What's up, buddy? Hey, Felix. Hey, Felix. Felix. The wankiest of jams. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys want to know what? You guys want to know what I watched yesterday? What'd you watch? Uh, well, Matrix. Uh, well, no, Back to the Future. Oh, close. Oh, which one? Oh, which one? Part, all of them? Part one on YouTube, and I got my son into it. Right. I mean, oh, it was, oh, part two is the best. He actually sat there and watched part one with original. Me. Nice. Yes, that's it. One. And, and then I went on like a little rabbit hole and um, on, on YouTube and someone had put together pieces of uh, the back to the future video game. And there's like a whole nother storyline, the back to the future video game. And I sat and actually watched that. Oh, Damn. So he, he called it back to the future four. So it was like this. It was, uh, wait, wait, what, it, what console did it come out for? I think it was on PlayStation 3 and 4 and then also some other... Okay. And on Xbox too, right? I remember, oh, is that a uh, Telltale the game? Future. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty good. Like <clears throat> Telltale games are pretty pretty unique. Those They're are like, like those a choose your own adventure. Choose your own adventure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with a little a bit of action. Kind of more than a video game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's, it was... Uh, a little cool. bit, yeah. It was, I played uh, a Batman one time. I played a Batman one also. It, it, it was uh yeah so it was like diff different storyline and then there was a there's a part five that i started watching and um it turns out he they mess up the timeline and they go he goes back to 1985-86 and doc brown had become just like this authoritarian figure and uh oh no started like a big re-education camp in in hillsdale or Hill, so bernie Hillsdale sanders Valley. it only makes common sense <laughs> it's bernie and, sanders and it's like big yeah. brother, big brother, and wow, um, his dad, his dad uh, George McFly mans the computer or mans the camera. So the the thing you were town. watching were they like the cutscenes of the the game or whatever? Yeah. So whenever they yeah. show like okay. those little in between yeah. scenes, perfect. Yeah. And it it kept my interest. It was almost like oh you yeah, know, there, there's never going to be a number uh, Back to the Future four. No. I doubt this was, it. This was kind not of not with a whole lot of not without a whole lot of motion stabilization. Yeah, I liked it, and uh, I'm I'm in the in the part five now, and then um, gonna nobody's gonna call me on that. I'm getting what? a chitty chitty bang bang uh, vibe off of you. Have you watched that recently? <laughs> chitty chitty uh, bang. I, yeah, chitty I think I watched bang it bang. Why? Yeah, why? Me or I don't that? know. I'm just. <laughs> That just came to my mind when you said you watched something <laughs> recently. I was like, it's Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Oh, no, But it no, was not. The Matrix. But have no. you watched that recently? 
Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, maybe like yeah. within the past like six months. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. But just the beginning, not the whole thing. <laughs> I know. It's pretty beginning. annoying, isn't it? <laughs> didn't, didn't, keep, didn't keep my interest that much. I don't much. think I've ever no. watched that. <laughs> it's, it's a movie? It's actually all annoying. Yeah, it's a movie. It's Dick Van Dyke. Isn't it like okay. race? There's a race car in the beginning. Yeah. It's got, little, it's got Lindsay Lohan. It's great. No, uh, <laughs> that's Herbie, right? Oh yeah, no. <laughs> that's Herbie. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's speaking of Man. other young women that Disney, yeah, is she she their wants TV. to race NASCAR in a Volkswagen. All right, let's hear some damn music. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. please, anything other than this. A lot of NASCAR tonight. Okay, but not really. All right, here's a song, and um, I'm gonna turn my video off. I can't wait. Whoa, and it's this could be. Yeah, it's called Dancing in the Moonlight. You guys know that one. Here we go. We get it almost every night. Oh, when that moon is a big and bright, it's a supernatural delight. Everybody will dancing in the moonlight. Tick, I'm squared and I'm well. I'm squared and I'm well. Everybody here is out of sight. They don't bark and they don't bite. They keep things loose and they keep things light. Everybody will dancing in the moonlight. Oh, dancing in the moonlight. Everybody feeling warm and bright. It's such a fine and natural sight. Everybody dancing in the moonlight. We like our fun and we never fight. Oh, you can dance and stay uptight. It's a supernatural delight. Everybody will dance in the moonlight. Oh, dancing in the moonlight. Everybody feeling warm and bright. It's such a fine and natural sight. Everybody dancing in the moonlight. Everybody here is out of sight. Uh, they don't bark and they don't bite. They keep things loose and they keep things light. Everybody will dance in the moonlight. Oh, dancing in the moonlight. Everybody feeling warm and bright. It's such a fine and natural sight. Everybody dancing in the moonlight. Oh, dancing in the moonlight. Everybody feeling warm and bright. It's such a fine and natural sight. Everybody with dancing in the moonlight. Oh, dancing in the moonlight. Everybody feeling warm and bad. It's such a fine and natural sight. Everybody was dancing in the moonlight. Oh, dancing in the moonlight. Everybody feeling warm and bad. It's such a fine and natural sight. Everybody was dancing in the moonlight. Oh, dancing in the moonlight. Everybody feeling warm and bad is such a fine natural sight. Everybody dancing in the moonlight, dancing in the moonlight. Everybody feeling warm and bad is such a fine natural sight. Everybody dancing in the moonlight. Yeah. Hell awesome, yeah. awesome. Grip, grip just taking the biggest goddamn rip of his life. He's 
<laughs> Such a good song, Felix. Fucking great. I would like to see that Such song overlaid song. on the scene of that movie, <laughs> The Witch, that came out a few years ago. Oh. And especially Felix's version. That would be the best. Sounds pretty witchy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was it was the witch, but it looked like it was the two V's on the cover. The Vitch. The Vitch. That's a beautiful, yeah, yeah. happy song. That's a beautiful, Dude, that was, happy that was song. great, Felix. <laughs> Felix, you bring sunshine to my life. Lifted. Yeah. I was thinking kind of Nox, Nox Mente, moon, the moon, uh, moon oh, cycle yeah. thing. I thought the, the same moon. thing, Felix. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a shame Jerry left. Oh, what? He's still here. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's right there. He's here. Oh, wait, I think there that's he is. just a Jesus. Jerry-shaped bot. It's a huge dab. It's, Jerry, it's a giant a dab I just bot. did. You just made <laughs> Jerry disappear. Oh, I just smoked Holy Jerry God. away in a cloud of wax. Oh, that's right. what happened. He's not in a reality anymore. What no, dude, nothing's reality. <laughs> nothing's <laughs> even real. Lost in the ether. Yeah, he's up there in the corner. <laughs> he's up there. Really? Like, did we just? Shift well, there's ten fucking or, people in a Zoom room. Uh, I mean, come on. We're good. No. Okay, what's did gonna we... happen now, though? Like, what do you guys think is gonna happen? What I'm just hoping my hot wings eventually show up. Either okay. dogs and cats <laughs> living together. I think what's happening. Let me tell you what's happening. Hate mail is happening. Oh fuck! <laughs> you know, if it, if it weren't for people keep other than keeping track. the show on track, <laughs> yes, we have to keep you on track. Really I'd be a track. mess. It'd be a goddamn mess. <laughs> There's structure to this motherfucker. <laughs> There's Come on, structure. man. Whether you All like right. it or not. Hold on, I'll play this hate mail. Damn it. Hey, you remind me, structure. since I don't have a job, to you fix my fucking structure. soundboard so I can actually play this shit right. Okay, here we go. Here comes uh, the email jingle. Oh. James Cruz and Grimsteak. James Cruz and Grimsteak. Hey, man. Oh. G-R-I-M-N-T-A-K-N. G-M-A-N. Oh, yeah, we got another one. James Cruz and Grimsteak. And we have oh damn this is some hate this is from precision tongue <laughs> he says he titles it uh meh you are the most arrogant son of a bitch that i've ever heard you're like a failed howard stern wannabe you suck you're self-absorbed you have no respect for anyone except yourself you are an ugly philly bastard with sideburns and you should die soon Oh, man. You wear stupid clothes that act infantile most of the time. I hope rats and roaches invade your apartment and force you out. I used to like James, but unfortunately, you are gradually bringing him down to your level. My hate for you has grown exponentially. Well beyond the norm. I would would give my life to bring you down. Have a nice day while you still can. P.T. P.S. Wear a fucking mask and hide that hideous beard. So... (laughs) That I want to say this this is what very hateful directed fuck? at me. That's pretty hateful. <laughs> this Jesus. is pretty hateful. So <laughs> that was hateful. Well well, I, mean, I just want to say that precision tongue would expect. Yeah. Preci- precision tongue knows that I'm in Philly. I'm in a house. I'm not in this and I'm not an apartment. And yeah. also I, I they call out my sideburns and my beard. So I'm double facial <laughs> hairing. Man, they clearly hate you. I'm they sorry, go, I wasn't um, they, sure if you were in a house or an apartment. They clearly hate my guts. So much during his, <laughs> I know it's him. <laughs> and I always laugh because I'm laughing at watching oh. him laugh. Jerry's secret passive aggressiveness yeah, like through hate. Jerry can never hold it down. Usually he's dying no. by like third I sentence. Yeah, yeah. All right, this is no next one. face whatsoever. No, I, this, I, I don't play. <laughs> I'm the worst. This next one is from our man, uh, Booty Rooter. Booty Rooter. Check out uh, Double Dungeon Podcast, Booty Rooter. Dear Grimsteak, I'm on the way to my doctor shortly to get a COVID test. Uh I'm trying to push the numbers up artificially to extend the lockdown forever. (laughs) That way I have more time to listen to my least favorite podcast, Cruising with Steak. Fingers crossed, (laughs) Rafi. I can't thank, wait for the So thank you, Booty Rooter. Uh, let us know. Uh, that's a bold uh, move, God. Booty, yeah, thank man, you, Booty Rooter. Let us know how that result, thank how the you results for go. all of us. <laughs> yes. Oh, damn. Guys, Chang's back. All right. Oh, Chang. 
Hello, Chang here. <laughs> Hello, this is Chang. I'm the cousin of Chang, who has written Mr. Steak many times. Chang has committed great dishonor to our family by becoming gay. Before he left his family home forever, he left us a note asking to get in contact with Cruisin' with Steak and friend James Cruz. <laughs> Cruz has spent C-R-U-I-S-E. Cruz, James Cruz. Because of China's social credit system, being gay means he is no longer allowed to buy food, drive a car, have internet, or make eye contact with other men. He will live rest of life in work camp. I am sad that Cruz with Steak has made Chang gay and go to work camp. However, I also listened to show and have not become gay once or ever thought about other men in that way. Thank you for the show that is ruining my family. <laughs> You're welcome, Chang. Chang's <laughs> cousin Chang. Yeah, dude, Chang's Chang. cousin Chang. I'm sorry that we sent Chang to gay camp. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, the gay thick part of the phone book. The last one was better. <laughs> oh, oh. Right, here's oh, the next one. The, the, oh, from the, the real Chang? Or yeah, from, 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 yeah, from, yeah, I mean, from cousin Chang. Cousin, cousin, cousin Chang. Uh, this is the first he talks one. Talks about his dad Chang. <laughs> yes, all the Chang. Jerry's crying right now because it's super Chang. funny. Chang. It really Chang. is pretty we've, funny. We've destroyed a whole family of Changs. <laughs> How many right. haircuts was it? This one's from. Uh, <laughs> what? Wait, what? What? <laughs> Oh damn! How many haircuts? What? How many enemy haircuts are there in the whole family? One. <laughs> Just one. Boys, they're they're one they all have the same haircut. They all have the same chang. Just the one bull in the family the handles chang. all of them. the changs. That's the thick part of the phone book too. <laughs> all right, here's it's the most. Oh, yeah, here's our the thickest part of the phone book. <laughs> here's our next hate mail. This one, uh, I don't know who it's from yet. I got it to the end, but it says, "What's up, fuck chaps?" Oh boy, have I got a Rosie O'Donnell sized bone to pick with you guys with with you guys. <laughs> First of all, I hate how you all seems to be in a good mood. No matter what crazy shit seems to be happening on the TV news. It's a natural like and I don't trust it. Secondly, I can't stand how you guys is always having different opinions on things amongst yourselves and just dealing, like dealing with it. That ain't no real <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That ain't how the real world works. It's either my way or the highway. That seems to be some kind of hippy dippy individualistic bullshit to me. You pinko kami bestiches. <laughs> what is it? It's thirdly, the mock from Boston. Thirdly, I can't stand what you and you's fellows hosts do it into the impressionable Ute of America. The impressionable Ute. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why, Justy, the other day, I'm catching D-Train downtown, and I overhear you two oriental types talking about what your show did the other nephew's Chang's taste in the bedroom. What, what is this? But they refer to, they reference Chang. For crap's sake, I hope you all get solved, saved, saved with a cease and desist for all you thought crimes you commit on these weekly basis. Don't let me catch you in a dark alley. Guido Sourpuss Calzone. <laughs> Ooh, nice. All right. <laughs> That's G S. Here's another one. Okay. This is that is, Mike uh, from OB DM? Wow. No, it wasn't. It was oh. not. <laughs> from, it's from Guido Sourpuss Calzone, Suzanne. That's, that's yeah. who signed it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we got, who's, who's that Mike that? from OB? Yeah, well, the world will never know. Nobody we got this that. one. This is from Rob Reading, Rectal Retard, Double R's, number one Patreon. <laughs> he just says, Love Hey, all. Happy Tuesday. As promised on a Patreon comment, patreon.com slash mistake, I'm here to talk about an acid trip I had the other weekend. Grim oh. told a story that triggered me to share. Grim, take a drink. Oh, he's right. I probably should. Oh, I'm not nice. gonna. Yes. He knows you. Man, he does know me. That's, Rob is yeah. so good. He's good. I went, he I went kayaking with my... <laughs> he is. I went kayaking with my girl and some friends. Me and the girl decided to take a hit of acid while we were out on the river. Long story short, my drunk-ass girlfriend ripped off the hit for me. When she showed me the hit, I said, holy shit, that's fucking huge. Then she stuck out her tongue and the tab was in her mouth. <laughs> then it was twice the size of mine. So I couldn't be a cuck. I untucked the dick between my legs and manned up. It was the strongest set of acid I've ever fe I've ever taken. I felt lobotomized, and wow. the motion of the world was just zooming beyond me. After a while, not understanding why I was even in the kayak and what I was doing with my entire life, only one thing could lift up my spirits, and it was CWS and friends. Love the collective humor is priceless yeah. here. Love y'all. Rob Reading. Ooh. Man. Wow. Nice. Hell yeah, Rob. <laughs> 
He yeah, takes it, us it, on his acid trips. That and is I, so and fabulous. just uh, yeah, and you know, I yeah, I, I uh, pay, sign up to the Patreon. You get you get you get stories. And There's good, shit. good stuff. There's good there. shit on the Patreon, people. <laughs> if you like this bullshit Patreon. we're doing, if you go to the Patreon, you're gonna love it. Yeah, you're gonna love it right now. You're gonna love it. You're gonna, gonna like the way, way you look. look. I guarantee it. Yeah, somebody <laughs> meant like warehouse me right now. Warehouse. <laughs> Thank you. God damn. Uh, Dude, that guy's, you that, did you know that guy's a pedo? Who? Who? who, who that guy? Oh, he already left. Well, he can't defend well, himself. Don't well, call him out. Uh, uh, that that's guy. it on hate mail, no, I, just, I wanted to start a, a new fake rumor. I like it. Men's Warehouse guy. Oh, that guy. That guy. Men's Warehouse guy. Yeah, the Men's Warehouse guy. He might be. Oh, oh the man. Warehouse guy. Come on. I think no. I might have heard that. That sounds about right. That yeah, sounds no, like some real that. news. Have you ever been to a Burlington Coat Factory? <laughs> oh, yeah, I have, Zach. Or water mm. Dude, I've been to a Burlington Coat Factory. That's what I'm talking factory. about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what a, I used what to if, be on their email list. <laughs> what a forgotten uh, American gem, the Burlington Coat Factory. Oh. What a, what a factory? It still exists. Oh. It's still there. there. Some places. You could get, yeah, uh, you know, they got, coat, they got socks and like messed up version. Yes. They got socks. Like an outlet mall type of stuff. Well, yeah, it was. You know, yeah, socks with like six holes cut goods in too. it. Yeah, there was. It, yeah, but it's like a TJ Maxx kind of thing. Yeah, like a cold. With a lot of coats. Uh, <laughs> TJ Maxx. Well, out, out east here, there's a company. They keep you warm. Outlet store kind of thing. They would have like Hello? over Marshalls, like TJ Maxx. The Bible that said like Adam and Steve. Oh. They used to rotate them all. They, one of them would close, that one would open, that time, type of stuff. Yeah. Keep you mall alive. <laughs> They've always around, man. Doesn't it seem like a lot of transfer of goods, right though? A lot of transfer of goods. Yeah, a lot of transfer of goods. When these places have to close and then another one opens and they have the same shit. That's true. So, no. Yeah, Did like they... these closeouts. How long can they be closeouts? Yeah. Why can't they just be free? <laughs> 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 After yeah, like the third free. closeout store. You want to yeah. get, get rid of it, right? Nobody yeah. wants the shit. <laughs> yeah, man. And that's what nah, it was it's shelter. God, I the had, worst uh, of I those. I worked as a manager at a uh, thrift store. Oh. And it was like basically this dude owned a bunch of thrift stores, yeah. you know, secondhand store, or garbage store, whatever you want to call them. And uh, he, he just shifted, uh, you know, yeah. uh, merchandise around between them and uh, he used it as a tax shelter. It was, oh, uh, nice. Well. Yes. Apparently, uh, so, dude's, so uh, dude's so boss had it target, figured out, man. I guess. All the targets. Allegedly. Yeah, that actually ran the company. Yeah, Soros owns a big... Oh, yeah. Big fuck, yeah, give me that allegedly. Soros lore, Nikki. Yeah. Yeah. Talk Ooh, to me about Soros. Target, yeah. man. And the bricks, yeah. the bricks oh, just happened no. to show up in front of Target. It's still oh, damn. That oh, damn. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, let's let's That's collect some insurance. Nikki. Yes. Yeah, man. Tar- yeah. yeah, Soros. Oh god. Yeah, we tore up targets all over the country. Yeah, yeah. They did. well, that's yeah. what I'm wondering. Who's behind the In Lebanon shit? Protest. You know, Soros. You know, Soros has his fi- fingers in the Lebanon, Lebanon shit. Come the on, fucking Asana. Jews. The ones that's okay. going to going to kill. <laughs> I'm gonna say it, Suzanne. Like, that's what Jesus it is. This is in the first two. Don't count. <laughs> 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 Does it come in a, a, a sound bite? That, uh, Does it come in three parentheses? <laughs> It's a three parentheses <laughs> kind of word, isn't it? No. <laughs> Israel's behind most of everything. Let's be realistic yes. here. Let's be realistic. Let's be realistic. And you know, I, I think mean, we had a discussion about this. Is they'll you know, do war through deception. Like. And those were not fireworks going off. It was clearly munitions. Oh, it's Give me a fucking explosions. break. Ryan Dawson's like, oh my God, it was it was a fireworks factory and it was a government thing. And Suzanne, I just want yeah, to say that's the exploded. most perfect Ryan Dawson impression I've ever heard in my life. Right <laughs> Ryan there. Gosling? You know, Ryan Gosling impression. You just nailed it. Ryan Gosling. That's why I was impersonating. Ryan Dawson. Just crushed it. <laughs> Sounded just like an early 90s heartthrob just now. Oh, dude. <laughs> I just, I'm so, uh, I'm so I happy just Felix a, has a mustache and a sleeveless shirt right now. My life is just, it's, right? it's complete. <laughs> Everything's great. <laughs> I just got a clip of Tucker Carlson getting lambasted by his guest about his pronunciation of Kamala Harris's name. That sounds about a good, uh, like a good go. distraction that doesn't matter. Serve you and your fellow um, hosts on Fox. Her name is pronounced Kama 
like the punctuation mark la, Kamala. Okay. okay. We, uh, seriously, I've heard every it's sort of okay. Wait, so, I gotta like, pause for a sec because there's like, I mean, so this there's is a normal inter- people interview. The... There sounds like a leaf blower in the background of that. <laughs> like, it's, oh, there it's might crazy. be. Maybe they're blowing but leaves. Man. That's how it is, that. Kamala. Okay, okay. okay. Well, just that, a normal box for somebody who's going to be on the national ticket. Pronouncing her name right is actually okay. not. It's kind of a. So I'm minimum. disrespecting her by mispronouncing her name unintentionally. So it begins. You're not allowed to criticize Kamala Harris or Kamala Harris. <laughs> it's literally like like I want I want him to like stop and be like stop. The chain thawing. <laughs> like, like, there's no, like, the... I don't know. Sorry. So what Kamala, no, because no, no, no. Kamala, Kamala Harris, no, whatever. Okay, look, I it's unintentionally it's mispronounced her name, question. but I love the idea that she's immune from criticism. So let me restate my question. Let me because answer on this question. show, no, no, nobody in it. power is immune from criticism. Our political leaders must be held to account. That's our job. I'm talk- That's for Jerry. <laughs> 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 Uh, hey guys, little oh, yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, dude. Oh, I was just gonna switch topics here. I watched. Yeah, uh, I watched that Jay and Silent Bob reboot movie. Do you guys anyone see that? Oh, I did see that. Like yeah. Empire Strikes Back. How was it, Felix? Oh Lord, how was it? Oh, wait, it was. No, it was decent. They just do the same jokes over and over again from like yeah, the old yeah. movies. That's kind of what he does. Snooty just, how do you, how do you they the said they're gonna do they a lot of inside Snooty jokes, booties? throwbacks, just from everything. Yeah, just yeah. meta shit. Like meta, I mean, because yeah. you got to think like that Snookins. yeah i mean it was already kind of like their first movie was meta anyway so like to make a right. movie about a movie that's really hey, maybe you have an asshole licked by a fat man in an overcoat the- <laughs> what is meta what's what does that mean meta it's like uh many, le- fourth, many levels yeah or like uh, almost like fourth wall breaking kind of thing like, uh, it's, it's when a movie, like somebody in a movie says, like, hey, I'm in a movie, makes a joke about it, type of thing. That's yeah. not what it means. Well, yeah. In the movie? Uh, no, yeah. meta doesn't. No, mean it'd, that. Be like, it'd be like having a podcast that reviews Cruising with Steak podcast that's also hosted by us. <laughs> that would be, yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's like when you, yeah. it's, you take a step up from whatever the thing is and you, you become an attribute of it. Yeah, it's like okay. it's like uh, if you think about ants and their perspective, and if they're on a two D, uh, they're in a two D realm. They never know about the people that are squashing them, so that's like three D. And then the ants are like two D, so they only see like like, like a video of some ants the other day. Urban yeah. dictionary so meta is two D. <laughs> Urban <What>? dictionary <laughs> defines I, I meta as <laughs> mean, the, layers. Layers. layers layers okay like a cake can i just can i please read the urban dictionary it's like reach around no! it's, it's kind of like no tell me what the <laughs> says Stick wikipedia it's kind of like, is not a source and neither is orbit no okay listen it's but a it term used point. in mmos meaning the most effective tactic available it's basically what works in a game regardless of what you wish would work I don't oh, think that that's the, okay. No, I don't I what? <laughs> they don't Obviously. I mean, haven't you guys ever heard of that? That's Don't you know that that's what meta means? That's what we've been talking about this whole time. Just video games and MMOs? Mhm. Uh, do you guys God know the, damn it. <laughs> I need the game the, facts on Cruiser with Steak right now. <laughs> so, a little bit of, show, little bit of really shown and dumb game facts is uh, leaking into <laughs> Cruiser with Steak tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. You guys remember the my my name is Earl uh, TV show? Yeah, I do. Uh-huh. Yes, that guy's in that 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 guy's in the Jane Silent Bob movie, and he's he's been in all their like movies. Jason that Lee guy's in it. Jason, <laughs> no, that, guy. that guy's not here. We're not gonna that guy is. No, no, no we haven't had it. Yeah. <laughs> we we'll had a couple of those. But, but they, actually, get, did you know he's actually a really good skateboarder? Who Jason yeah, Lee? I, I, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, he's crazy. Lee. Yeah, but they they he he works in a comic book in the uh, in the mall, uh, mm-hmm. comic book store in the mall. And um, they go on a whole spiel about what a reboot is compared to what a re uh, remake is, and then so it get... sounds it sounds like a meta movie. <laughs> yeah, oh, meta movie. so they, they they wax <laughs> philosophical. <laughs> they, they wax philosophical, and then he says something like, "Kind of like uh, uh, Hollywood doesn't even make squeakquels anymore," and so they're referencing uh, friggin' uh, Elvin and the Chipmunks movie. El- oh, okay. 
they made a second oh, one. Oh, because Jason it. Lee, yeah. Jason cool. Lee was in oh, sequel. Yeah, yeah. so they're getting right. extra meta. There he was extra meta. That's a meta. There's your yeah. fourth wall. He, he, and he was in that. And then he does a little eyebrow thing. And uh, I went and looked at his Wikipedia. I'm like, oh, he was in that movie. And that was the last movie that he's credited for. And that's in like 2007. Wow. Dude, he was just rolling in Alvin money. Why would oh, yeah. and my name is Earl Money? Like, why would yeah. he need to do anything? Oh, he's yeah, that's he's so rich off that. Can I, seven. can I tell you exactly what he did with his wealth? Because I lived in the oh, town shit. that he lived in for four what? years. Oh, no. Wait, yeah, hold on. So you're the booty rooter of Jason Lee right now? Is yeah. that what's going on? I, am. Yeah. I legitimately am. Series of Lee. This dude, this dude went and just bought up half the property in this college town. Huh. And north texas and is just like in cahoots with these mormons like him and scientologists wow. and mormons are just basically going around and buying all this real estate and turning them into turning like the little square area Condos. around the very tartarian courthouse by the way you heard uh, it here first on cruising oh, oh, people first. jason uh, lee's gonna take the world over with mormons yeah. and tartarians. <laughs> uh, with this squeakle money with a squeakle yeah, money uh, <laughs> he he's just he's just building like fucking play like fancy restaurants with twenty dollar burgers that have the like blank and blank uh fuck yeah throw an know. egg on it yeah oh yeah just <laughs> that bullshit just throw all an egg in place. Yeah. just like uh, you know, middle class white family nonsense and it's just filling a town with that like a super applebee's money. Yes. Yeah, pretty much, except yes. for it's got like, yeah, mason jars everywhere. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, genuinely, the anti feeding, would you say? Oh, yeah. I'm weirdly familiar with, feeding, with the happenings either? of Jason Lee in any given moment. He was so cool. He was so cool back in the day. <laughs> I'd rather yeah. talk about Jamie Lee. <laughs> Ooh, Jamie Lee Curtis? Are you talking about Jamie Kennedy? Jamie Kennedy, 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 Kennedy experiment? The little blonde that was on My Name is Earl, his his ex on my yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Presley, that girl. Jamie Presley, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah Zach, you ever yeah. seen that Tekken movie or whatever that was? Yeah, she was in a karate uh, series on uh, for a while, too. She, yeah. No way, really? Get her doing she did the movie yeah. about a video game one time, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. They you, made a Tekken? One, the movie was they sick. did a Tekken? Yeah. Something or like Dead or Alive, one of the oh. fighting games, and Jamie yeah. Presley, one of the girls in it. She's a, uh, she transferred over Mortal from Kombat. gymnastics, man. She's a, Dude, she's the a Mortal good Kombat. No, it wasn't a Mortal oh, Kombat. Oh, yeah, that was, they did a Mortal Kombat 2. The first one was all right. The second one was bitches. rough. They made three. Do you guys remember, you remember the, the <laughs> Street Fighter <laughs> movie with Val, or was, who was that? Uh, no, no, it was uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yeah, yes, it was horrible. It was so bad. Any single oh, movie that well. they make from a fighting game is terrible. Zach, don't Zach. You may. I mean, it might be a hill that you die on, but I can't. <laughs> I can't defend the Street Fighter movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was pretty. I don't bad, think anybody right. can. No, <laughs> they're so they're all rough. Any video game that's ever been made a movie has been shit. I don't think I've ever seen a good one. You guys, uh, did you ever see the Dungeons and Dragons movie? Yeah, the, the yeah. It, back in it? back in two thousand, that thing was garbage. Oh, yeah. so bad. I, I would say that was the worst translation that any yeah. video game movie has ever been. Yeah, it's the same with that. Yeah, dude. Fucking trash. <laughs> oh, my God. Speaking of crazy and movies and games and what we do. On Squeakle our money. Yes. Yes, it <laughs> and, is. And, 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 and Jason Lee, who almost looks like Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Here's how Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds could Switch. look like as a live action Dun 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 dun! One Punch Man. Oh no what? way! Yeah, live Ryan action. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds be One Punch Man. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. Oh. I'm not seeing it. I don't like it. Wait, a Reddit oh. user uh, made a poster for the live. Oh, so this is just some Reddit user fan, fan fiction. Okay, James, oh. you made me scared this for a second. one day ago. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sure their mother will this slap them in a mouth. Ryan Reynolds. This is like all of the matchup. one punch man. Hell yeah. saying. Exactly. Uh, PS2. Yes, it is. <laughs> fan. I'm fan the neckbeard that's screaming right now. No way, I got Ryan Reynolds play for me. <laughs> Saitama, Jesus. this is bullshit. <laughs> just, we almost just turned Cruiser 
mistake into just a neck beard. Meltdown. It was coming. I, I thought I it was coming out, dude. My, my glasses got reflected. Narrowly avoided. <laughs> Chris, his glasses just started <laughs> reflecting. And and just and all of a sudden, we just see his webcam just split into dude, four different pieces. Dude, speaking of Shonen Dump, uh, Trigun. How about Trigun, guys? I do glasses and guns, baby. I watched three episodes. I'm digging it, dude. Hell yeah, James. It's, it's cool. One it's by the guy who did uh, Blood Blockade Battlefront. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can't tell. <laughs> no. Actually, no, you can't. I don't know. No, you probably it's, can, dude. It's like a it's decade older, older. Yeah. 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 Uh, ShonenDump.com. Like style. Yeah. <laughs> towards, towards the end of the last episode where y'all were talking about um, when Trigun actually got selected off of the wheel and uh, somebody was saying how it was like, you were stuck in a loop of edgy, uh, you know, <laughs> animes from the early thousands. Right. I was like, I know exactly what you're talking about, but it is pretty fantastic. <laughs> Hell yes, <Zach. laughs> I do appreciate it. It is dude, fantastic. It is, dude. We're just stuck in this. This is just these edgy, just early, early yeah. animes. But we're, we'll get out of it. It's the so wheel of fate. Because <laughs> yes. that's what the fans want. That's what we got I recommended know. on the wheel. Yeah. That's what my brain is. <laughs> Oh man! So you guys want to hear some more deep lore on Jason Lee? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, shit, yeah. No, I, uh, yeah. Although, you bang, bang me here's, here's some other didn't. things. This town that I'm talking about not only does it have a Tartarian cart house, it's on the 33rd parallel. Oh, it only makes common sense. <laughs> and Boy, and it also man. is headquarters to FEMA Region Six. Uh oh. Damn. They're broke. FEMA? I yeah. mean, come on. Like, what do you expect? Yeah, government. <laughs> oh, what are they? Yeah, like, well, yeah. I don't know. What, I mean, what are they doing at this point anymore? Like, are they, is there like FEMA coat? Like, there's no, nothing. COVID. It's only a it's only a national emergency. Hell, what do you need FEMA for? <laughs> yeah, just send them home. Make make them make baby coffins. <laughs> oh, J- Jason Lee's got a kid named Pilot Inspector. Ooh, shut cool. the fuck up. That's not a name. <laughs> Pilot Inspector Lee and in, Inspector spelled with a K. Well, you know who he was signed. <laughs> You know who I'm he so, was Scientology so boys mad about with that. was uh, fucking Danny Masterson. They were like boys. Oh yeah, and they had that a seventy show. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I saw them. Oh shit! Together at isn't a that show. guy a rapist? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Alleged. He, he just sells shoes. Yeah. No, 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 but but legit. Like, isn't he a rapist? <laughs> He's talking about uh, what's his yeah, name? Yeah, Fulton. Hide. He's talking about hide from that seventy hide, show. Hide, he raped oh, Fulton, show. and he kills dogs. Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> oh shit! No, I swear Allegedly. I'm not making this up. No, <laughs> no, no you're absolutely lying. That dude truth. is no, a that. pedophile, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. He's he's, he's he's a rapist and he's a dog Hold killer. On. Yeah. <laughs> We just jumped from rapist to pedophile That's real quick. That's over the top there. <laughs> no, he's not a... Flavor Town, I see you like, researching. Back me up right now. I got My hands are covered in marshmallows killer? and chocolate right now. I can't no, do anything. No, it's not a dog killer. killer. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hell, no. Don't be killing dogs, man. Let me it's get in my soapbox real quick. No, okay. He's the lead singer of the Mars Volta or some shit. The lead singer of the Mars Volta. He killed the dude's dog. Oh. Yes, okay. Mars Volta, what the all right, let's <laughs> what is look at you, give me some give me give me some can some canon here. Okay. So Danny Masterson is uh, accused of uh, raping and abusing a bunch of women. That you know he's a Scientologist, and <laughs> one of the women um, ended up marrying um, Cedric from the the Mars Volta. No, from the Mars Volta. <laughs> um, and that's the reason I know that, like, the connection, because I I know what he and so he's uh, he talks about how like one of their dogs got poisoned and killed, and he, like he got on social media and was like essentially accusing Danny Masterson's wife <laughs> like, you fucking, doing yeah. it. Yeah, uh, crazy. So yeah, I mean, there's just basically like because she she um, I forget her name, uh, uh, Cedric's wife. I, I, I don't know her name off the top of my head. S'mores. Um, but she, dude, yeah. dude, I'm covered yeah. in chalk. She was one of the people that accused him. So, you know, the idea is, is that they're Scientology fucking with him. And obviously, Cedric is also very anti oh God, Scientology. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Danny Masters is pretty, pretty fucked up, dude. If, if whatever one is saying is true, which, again, there's a lot of, there's, I happen to know that there is someone who has been like putting themselves out against someone like that for a while. <laughs> That, so, so yeah. he's a dog killer and he's a rapist. <laughs> yeah, and I saw it's him one time at a Cannon. concert. 
It was like Bill, a you got Dylan. Bill, you're raising it your is. hand. You got something, or are people raising their? What's happening? <laughs> no. We could turn on the hand raising uh, feature. Oh, the feature? Oh, There's dude, Bill's just for scooping that. peanut butter straight in his hey, mouth. Cheers. I, get, oh, on that <laughs> I respect that. I get me a cocktail on hand. Hell yeah, crunchy, yeah. crunchy I peanut thought butter. it was oh, ET raising up beside him. <laughs> God damn. It. So yeah, now that we got to yeah. the bottom of that. Uh, so he killed the dog. He oh, killed that so hide. Killed yeah. the dog hide. by giving it hide or, or butter. poisoned it. Po- hides wife. Poisoned it. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's hide's a, wife poisoned the dog. It sounds like it was a team effort. No, it's just it's fucking yeah, they're just fucking with them. Mm-hmm. Essentially. But, so yeah, I and mean, then Danny, also like Danny there's all that alleged rape and shit. Yeah, they're they're in Scientology together, so they know each other and I mean that's kind of the connection. That's the reason I have the connection. So yeah, I saw him one time. I don't know, hmm. randomly, just in that town. What's, what's Eric Foreman up to these days? <laughs> just gonna go down. The, <laughs> give me, give me some bad seventies show lore. Uh, <laughs> it fits right in with the early two thousands. I cruise it with Stake just lives in. <laughs> I haven't heard Ashton Kutcher's name in like he was fifteen just, years. Well, he you got Venom Ashton Kutcher. What's 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 the, what's the other one's name though? Like what's. There's Mila Kunis and the uh, no Eric Foreman's name, the main character or the main kid. Oh, oh to- go- to- Gopher, Topher Gra- Gra- Gopher Grace, Grace. Topher Grace. Topher there Grace. it is. That's what I needed. Go- he was in that movie American Ultra with uh, Jesse. What's his yes. face? Oh yeah, that guy. I never liked that Jesse Eisenberg, Eisenberg guy. No. Never like too Jewish. I think his face was too <laughs> Jew for me. I'm, I'm not even joking. <laughs> too many, too many parentheses. Oh, dude, beat me yeah, to dude. It. Too much Berg to his fucking name. <laughs> I, I watched that. I watched that. That vibe. That vibe. More birds in an ice field. Yeah, let's talk yeah. about the Jews here. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> what were you saying, Felix? Some about I, say, I, I just watched the movie with uh, Eisenberg in it uh, called Vivarium. It's on Amazon Prime. Vivarium, yeah. Vivarium, huh? That's like a really long movie, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I, like I think I know what you're talking about. It's kind of long, dude. So another it's, one there. It's commentary. It's a commentary on the whole suburbs uh, life, and they get roped in some interdimensional world yeah. where they're living in like all the just this one house that looks all like, like all the other houses around it. Oh, and they're forced okay. they're forced to raise a kid that comes in a box, and the kid's kind of like a little alien that grows Damn. fast. And um, it grows fast. He grows fast. Like in wow. hundred days, he's already like a seven year old, and he mimics he mimics them, and that's like the only creepy part about it is the kid can like. He does their voices, and then his real voice is really like cartoony sounding, and he's kind of like psychotic. Kind of like, um, kind of sounds like the guy from uh, uh, the Thirty Rock, the Page guy. Hmm. Kenneth Kinda has a voice like Kenneth. Is it yeah. Kenneth? Thanks for spoiling it for us. Oh. I mean, they show it all in the preview. Imagine thinking anybody's sh- gonna watch this movie, yeah. Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> they show it. They, in the come preview. on. They show pretty much all that in the preview. Oh, all the previews ruin things for like at least the last decade and a half. No doubt, dude. I, I don't even watch yeah. previews anymore. Like, I watched it just to see if I was going to be interested in yeah. watching it. And... That's all I watch. Previews? Previews? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck watching the movies, man. You'd be a fan of that uh that new thing, that Quibi thing, yeah, right? I'll, that... I'll, uh, uh, I had Access TV for a while, and they had a show only trailers. Oh, that was, my, that was my favorite show, man. I just yeah. watched all the trailers from all the movies that was coming That's out. That's the one thing I can count oh, in on the internet. Uh, yeah, on dude, YouTube, they show you the least. best parts of the trailer anyway. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. I've seen all the explosions. That's, where, that's what we get around to, right? Yeah, Nikki, this is a life you're, miss, you're missing all the nuance. The nuance. You don't need nuance. The nuance? Yeah. Just get the, the, the gist. Gist. Imagination which way comes the wires. in. Yeah, dude, just, just get the gist and build the rest <laughs> yeah. of the storyline in yeah, your head. Right. There you go. You're I'll good. think about it when I'm out there walking here in a Fuck minute. Fuck yeah, yeah. It's like on the trails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. So Darth Vader is... is- uh, Luke Skywalker's father? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. No, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Son of a... <laughs> you know, what happened to your Marvel segment, Jerry? Yeah, Jerry, what's up with that? You got any Marvel news? I don't, <clears throat> I don't have a jingle. Yeah, I got tons of oh. Marvel news. What do you want to talk Give me the Marvel, Ooh, Marvel news, Jerry. Comics or movies. <laughs> so uh, they've, they've started filming Marvel movies again. For the oh. Phase of oh, did they? Stuff. So so People, the the Marvel uh, actors can't working. get COVID, so they're immune to COVID. Is that what I'm understanding? I don't. Know. I don't know. It's other countries, so 
I don't know oh, what the deal is. So Chris Hemsworth, Hemsworth can't get COVID? He's not in any <laughs> new movies, actually. Oh, man. His contract's up. And what else do I hear? Shia LaBeouf. Has, okay, so you know that um, <laughs> yes, I don't know where Disney it's going. I has <laughs> gotten the, the rights, the full rights now for all of Marvel. That includes the X-Men. So Sony doesn't have X-Men anymore. Oh, man. So Marvel is rebooting them all. And of course. Their typical MO for for reboots like that is to introduce them one character at a time. Yep. Start and, over. Yep. So the first character apparently that this rumor that is going to be Gambit. out is it uh Iceman. Gambit. Ice? Gambit's yeah. the first one. Gambit. I wish awesome. it was Gambit. <laughs> um, <laughs> the Rage Iceman and uh um uh, played by Shia LaBeouf. That's the rumor right now. Man, I love nerds. <laughs> just those are the best. <laughs> love Shia LaBeouf just playing a insane Cajun guy. <laughs> just and, just uh, the reboot. <laughs> so they're also do they're also rebooting Fantastic Four. Oh wow! And again, again. Let's give yeah. it a fifth try. Again. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, the new Spider-Man Three's got a got a villain. Now it's going to be Norman Osborn. <laughs> God, we're in, we're in just know, reboots. It's, it's, like a it's all, it's <clears> all <throat> just <throat> over and over and over. Keanu Reeves is going to play a villain in some upcoming movie. Hmm. Uh, that sounds like a quick little five minute cameo that he might do. I'm looking forward to the new Doctor Strange movie, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Multiverse of Madness, it's called. Doctor Ooh. Strange is sick. That's, well, that's, Doctor yeah. Strange. That was a good what, one. What they're doing is uh, so you've got the regular, you know, earth based shit of Marvel. The multiverse of madness is going to start taking it into a more supernatural direction. It says, mm. it's a, it says it's a horror film. Right. It's a horror sci fi film. Wow. Hmm. Scary. And uh, they're also making Deadpool 3, which is going to be under Disney. So, and they're going to keep it R rated, which should be interesting. I think it's going to be Good. Disney's first R rated movie. Wow. The, the Deadpools have always been fucking great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they're, they're good. One movies. of the ideas I heard for a plot for it was that he was going to travel with cable across multiverses and kill Fuck off yes. all the old Sony characters. So the, the <laughs> queen <laughs> for all the new Marvel ones. Love that, would it. that would be a good story. Right, right because it, the, having. Having multiple universes, having an idea in your yeah. in your cinematic universe, the MCU, uh, allows you to say, oh, yeah, well, that version of Wolverine was Hugh Jackman in universe XYZ. But yeah. in this universe, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be whoever. So I circling back around, Fantastic Four mm -hmm. was in my wheelhouse as comic books. Okay. Yeah. Mine so, too. But they, they never got thing right. The thing, no. no, they missed it so bad. I mean, that that dude's a good actor. Okay, Wh whatever that cop show was, he did. I can't. Even oh, Michael Chiklis. Yeah, Michael yeah there you was. Go. that was the He's, best one that they well, rebooted. But I that's think. yeah. But uh, he don't do it, man. You gotta have. I mean, hell, you gotta break out somebody big. You know, thing <laughs> was a he was a beast, yeah. man. He wasn't, you know. <laughs> he wasn't the shortest he yeah. wasn't the shortest dude in the in the thing no. you know no. <laughs> yeah yeah he was the middle he wasn't the middleweight man he was, was he made out of racks well yeah, then he was made, yeah he's uh, tough well, what now. was it he's the old the old uh yeah. the old fantastic fours the guy who plays captain america was uh chris evans yeah chris evans he was yep. fucking johnny flame, johnny flame. exactly oh okay storm they they were, yeah, johnny yeah. storm yeah i didn't know all that uh, yeah the human torch you know what he's yeah. funny in? Uh, you know what's an interesting movie to go back and watch is Scott Pilgrim versus the Universe. Oh, dude, that and it, yeah, he's yeah. the dude oh, that played. So yes, good. yes, he's right. one and of the, uh, the ex boyfriends. It. Yeah, and dude, Brandon it's such Ruth. a good movie. You know, Brandon yeah. Ruth, the first mm -hmm. the Superman guy, and he's also in DC's uh, Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> that plays the Atom. Oh no, shit! You know who I'm talking about? No, I, I yeah. Oh, Brandon there's Ruth. a the Which one that the. There's the the Rock is gonna be starring in a character called Black Adam, which is yes, yeah, oh Black Adam, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's taking that. the leap into like this superhero. I also heard world. the the Rock bought the X XS, XFL. Yes. I was yeah, about part to part say, owner. yeah, yeah. yeah part owner. That today that's too. still going on. That's incredible. Part I already bought it, man. Like it's he's the main guy now. Right? Oh, that'd be even better. He's the highest paid <laughs> star in Hollywood right now. Too. Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> 
What do you mean? Nobody does anything in Hollywood anymore. <laughs> True. He's in a new version of the Disney movie. movie coming out. Called, it's a another ride movie, Jungle Cruise. Damn. Starring oh, yeah. Rock, the Rock yep. and Emma Blunt. Oh. Jungle Cruise. Kevin Hart ain't in it. Come on. Kevin Hart's <laughs> got to be there. Got to make a cameo at least. Yeah, the words coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Dude, no, that's that's. I know kid. it's Eddie Woods. That's Chris Tucker. No, it's Chris Tucker. Tucker. Yeah. Yes. Eddie Eddie Tucker. It's Chris Tucker in, in Rush Hour. <laughs> Hell yeah! Can you hear the words that come no, out of my mouth? That, is that from Rush Hour? <laughs> yes. Yeah, totally. He was talking to Jackie Chan. Oh. Understand the words that come out of my mouth? Jackie totally. Chan. Yeah. Hell yeah! It wasn't Fifth Element. Fifth Element's a great movie, though. <laughs> Fifth Don't Element. Yeah. There. Yeah. Uh, back back to that '70s show. Topher Grace was in. Um, he was in one of the more recent uh, Black Mirror episodes as like a internet guru. Oh Ooh. yeah. Ooh. And he goes on like a, a detox, like a digital detox. Um, and while he's on this digital detox, he had made like this big social networking site. And um, this this guy in the UK or something kills his girlfriend because he's like checking his phone. And then crashes his car because he's on the the social network site on his phone, and he blames Topher Grace for it because he made the web or his website so addictive or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. So he holds this guy ransom in in this field and tries to reach out to Topher Grace, and Topher Grace is in like uh, he's in like the desert, and he doesn't want to be contacted. And they someone brings out like a satellite phone to him, and they have this like. He tries to talk him down from the hostage situation and has this big realization that his whole social network thing is so bad for people or whatever. What's funny is that would never happen in real life. The, literally, no. they just, no. No, Twitter is corrupting the brains of humanity <laughs> right now. Everyone, everyone. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 that that show cast. Musician were talking about that. Every, the problem is, is every single human being Every single human, I'm sorry, Zach. Every single human being shouldn't have a fucking voice. Not everybody's opinion should be out there. I'm sorry, no. it just shouldn't happen. Like it, it, that's where humanity went wrong. I mean, fuck, we shouldn't even be having a voice. Like, it, like in the internet's crazy. There's no reason my dumbass should be spewing words to people across the internet every year, every week. But it yeah, happens. Shit that happens, happens right? <clears throat> Come on, man. Ellen, Tom Hanks. I Oprah? Mean, <laughs> if, Oprah. If, there wa- if there wasn't something going on, they wouldn't have so much goddamn web results for that specific <laughs> yes. thing. Yeah, dude, so much it's debunking. Gross. It's so gross. much debunking anywhere. You search shit on DuckDuckGo and it yeah, came dude, up with the same every, shit, just debunking just, articles. Oh, yeah. Those There's three names. Taps for a reason, right? Yeah, dude, you can't search those three names <laughs> Ellen, Oprah, uh, and Tom Hanks. Without getting just a fucking mess of debunking. No, that, not... I don't... What do you think that is? Do you think that's like a like a machine learning? Do they? Do you think like the news, whatever this like thing that controls the media? Because it's obviously not just a bunch of media studios doing. It's their all own algorithms. Thing. Yeah, like do you think there's just algorithm on the capital A? There's just mm-hmm. like a yeah. There has to be some kind of predictive like almost well, kind of like becomes oh, aware we're fucked. Well, it's like that Westworld shit from last season. Uh, with the AI that like, or, like the like any the, sci-fi, any yeah, Philip K. Dick, basically. Yeah, no, it's it's like the Colonel Sanders and Matrix, uh, the Matrix movies. Would be exactly, that one Colonel movie. Sanders in it. You uh, know those dudes stole that story, right? The Matrix, the Matrix, the Matrix movie. The Wachowski's uh, brothers, sisters. That's, that's yeah, don't you call them? They right? stole that movie <laughs> idea. from that homeless black woman. I think she was something like that, but. They pretty well just straight up ripped off her story. Anyway. She says they stole it from her dreams. I mean, she's a nut job. I don't know if it's a dream. All right. I know she sued him, and I don't think it ever settled. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, that's our that's our wonderful court system. And, of course, the Hollywood producers and directors won Those that case handily, I bet. <laughs> three parentheses types, if you will. <laughs> If you will, what if you will, mean? wink, wink, and I judge you. Yeah. What, is that? what does that mean? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> like, it means ellipses? <laughs> Suzanne might be able to explain it to you. Three you talk about ellipses? Ellipses? No, no, it's cool. <laughs> the three parentheses types? Yeah. <laughs> ellipses. <laughs> yeah. 
No, go ahead and play your town. <laughs> I'm eating. You're talking about that. <laughs> Dude, damn. Talk I bet about what, what do you think Suzanne's new, snacking new on speak? right now? I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess like a nice summer fruit. Pretzels. <laughs> yeah, like this. Is it like a pineapple or something? I do. Oh my god. Ramen. Really? Me? Are you drinking ramen? Eating? She's eating ramen. No. Four noodles. No, 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 no. You no. fell off a cliff. Came back to life as a baby. Now you're 21. Your clothes, Nikki. Yeah. Pringles. Yeah, it's been a weird year. <laughs> What is playing right now? Happy birthday, James Mr. Is, Peanut. James is having his own show. Yeah. <laughs> How it's, dare it's you talk Peanut to him? Peanut Jr. No, Happy no, birthday, don't. Mr. Peanut you get, the fucking, <laughs> you get sure. that shitty brand, brand fucking mind control bullshit out of here. Hey, man, it's been one year and you turned 21. So. <laughs> Mr. Peanut? Same yeah. day Epstein died? Oh, yeah, dude, man. Mr. Peanut died the same day Epstein died. Think about that. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> No, Mr. Sure Peanut didn't kill him. His name's called Baby Nut, by the way. Yeah. Peanut Jr. JR. Yeah. So he's oh my God, 21 years shot, old. <laughs> Jesus. I just want to play a jingle or something. <laughs> 21 <laughs> years old today. We haven't played a jingle in a while. What well, about a safe out. space? I think Let's... I need one of those about that. Oh, you guys want to share a memory? We'll do a share a memory. Here, I'll switch Hell it over. Yeah. Uh, if I could find it, if I could find it, there it is. Share a memory that's unique to you. A memory worth retelling. And don't be afraid of being judged. Because cruising with steak is a designated. Safe space. <laughs> there, here's the other one I want. Lego people aliens. <laughs> it's the ether. Lego right. people aliens. That's all it needs to be said, Susan. Lego people aliens. God damn. <laughs> it's all happening. <sighs> it will be sooner or later. Yeah. It will be. It will be. You guys think I, I, uh, you guys, I, got, a, you... I got a quick memory. Um, a cousin of mine that lived out in Oregon had a closet full of the old 70s Star Wars toys from when the movie came out. So now whenever I spell that particular, like, blend of vinyl plastic or whatever you want to call it, it always makes me think of uh, dang, um, uh, Star Wars action figures. Yeah. Do they still um, have those Star Wars just, action figures? I, I don't know. This this is from 20-some years ago. I'm remembering, you know, oh, still. Oh, man. Hell yeah. Anytime I catch that particular scent, that's the first thing I think of. There's those smells oh. that bring back memories. Uh, it's gotta... crazy, like, you know, colors and whatnot, I understand. I never thought smells until that uh -huh. happened. Uh, I, I got a smell memory. Yeah? Oh, give it to me. Uh, we, we had some of those uh, those those markers that have scents, those markers that have smells to them, like purple's grape and mm -hmm. yellow's banana. Right on, right on. And I was probably like seven, eight, nine years old or maybe younger than that six maybe i don't know somewhere when i was young and uh, i had been sitting there just by myself sniffing all the markers and then uh, a little bit later i went up to like my parents and said something to them started talking to blah blah blah, and they're like were you sniffing those markers <laughs> and i i said no i wasn't sniffing those markers <laughs> and uh they're like you're lying because i had all these little dots on my face from, <laughs> Dude, they un smelled so good nose. i know exactly what markers you were talking <laughs> about they and the fact like that you were talking to a coat rack at that point no <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, they, they, those were fine to sniff those are like crayola non toxic yeah they're me <laughs> meant to you could sniff those all day long you up before yeah, they change the formula yeah <laughs> Oh man, the Sharpies, <laughs> fuck yeah. Sharpie markers, yeah. Or just some, just some straight up like rubber cement or paste or something, you know, just <laughs> some good. Oh, you were yeah, a right. blue guy back in the day. Blue guy. I'll share a memory. Hell okay. yeah, we talk about glue <laughs> guys and James talk about share memories. Uh, well, well, memory pops did. straight up. Or well, uh, <laughs> there it has, was. To, has to do with basically fumes. Yeah, off you know, um, in uh, 
when I was in uh, high school, I did a, a training program, basically like, the, you know, I did a career school. So like my junior, senior year, I went there and I was in my painting car days and to be, yeah, painting school story. Exactly. <laughs> Stick your face right in the fucking, uh, the, the thinner hopper, dude, which is basically like a, like a, uh, I don't know, like a washout sink, like in your basement or whatever, or like a, you know, like, right. a, yeah. Um, and it has a lid on it and it has these two, two rods up. You all well, lace our tank it had two of them. And then you would put, like the empty spray can uh like after you got done painting the car or whatever or your tools and whatnot uh you put these cans upside down on top of these things anyway so tons of thinner blows out inside this tank and when you open the lid it's just whew. yeah so uh open the lid take a few rips of that and just have a good day old time for uh, a few minutes for sure man oh my god <laughs> man, man. that'll man. fucking twist your fucking head sideways no doubt <laughs> this show's tr- triggered a double memory for me here yeah now. so yeah. we was talking about the crazy guys you know a homeless guy in nashville was was yeah. just cussing at everybody we we were going to an event so there's three or four of us was trying to stick money in the uh you you know your honest little thing box they have set in <laughs> parking lots you stick your five dollars in there and on your own your honor box yeah yeah so there's yeah. About three three couples we you know, had girls with us and and we were all trying to stick money in this box and he's just cussing just as hard as he could <laughs> but then I I looked at him and these other two guys kind of stood up, you know, beside me and he crossed the street to the other side and yeah. continued to cuss at us, but he was red all around the mouth and stuff. <laughs> she just huffing, huffing gas. Yeah, paint. Huffing paint. Huffing paint. Huffing paint. Yeah. Huffing. yeah. 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 Just, I mean, he was just blind cussing just anybody he could see. Yeah. I don't know if, I don't even know if he was seeing it. He, he seen oh, us enough. Right, yeah. He, he oh, went he to the other side of the street. Right. Yeah. 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 He, he seen it. it was three on one. I think he seen that. <laughs> Damn. But other, yeah, it was wild. Oh, my God. Basically, what was the like, other part? You said that was a double memory. At well, I mean, earlier in the day, we was talking yeah. about the earlier in the show, we was talking yeah. about the crazy guys, and then James yeah. got to talking about huffing paint. Huffing paint. <laughs> yeah, paint <laughs> that was thinner. the guy. Paint thinner. Yeah. That, no, no those, paint. <laughs> those two came together. Then, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought oh, about crazy. him early in the show, but then, yeah, he brought him back up. Yeah, man, man. Uh, you know what? I'll get once in a while is a whiff of any more these days is uh. When I'm doing uh, plumbing on PVC stuff, yeah. you have to put uh, cement on it, which is what they call it. And it's just like a liquid cement. And it smells exactly like paint thinner. You get high <laughs> as fuck off of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the craziest shit chemicals. is when you, when you forget and you kick that thing over with your foot because it's laying on the ground next to you after piping in some shit. And then that thing, you, like the whole bathroom, whatever I'm doing, kitchen, bathroom, whatever, plumbing job, just, just, Damn. it's just the whole room's just engulfed in that. Like, yeah. you can't hang out in there. Nah, too dude, long. You can't you'll, hang. You'll go, you gotta have yeah. ventilation when you're messing with those fumes. Yeah, you're gonna go crazy, Fuck. dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. This has been awesome. Hey, yeah, I wanna, I wanna do a little, I wanna do a little plug here before we wrap up. Yeah. Uh, Suzanne was recently on a podcast. Uh, Nish, did, Nish, Nish has a uh, Nish friend of the show has a little, little podcast called the Cosmic Salon. Is that what it is, Suzanne? You want to talk yes. about it? Yes, yes, Cosmic Salon. Yeah. No, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> oh no, yeah, yeah. You you did. Uh, I, I listened to the first hour. It was awesome. It's great. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll Cute. put a link to that in the show notes. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Nice. So she's yeah, and so she does the Cosmic Salon, and then she's gonna do on uh, Fringe FM, I believe. She's gonna do a call-in show on Mondays. Oh, I'm not nice. sure when that's gonna start, but <laughs> we all gotta call in. Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Fuck her up big time. It'll be so oh. fun. <laughs> Why am I always the last to hear about this? <laughs> I know. I- Jerry, I think Why? you hear about things, yeah. but you just forget oh, about no, them. No, 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 no. She has not told me any of this. I didn't even know she had her own podcast till I saw it on Twitter. <laughs> 
Uh, well, uh, yeah. I was only I the second. Care. Emily was the first. Yeah, Emily, so and then I think Keats. New. Yeah, then Keats was and the Keats third. Was yeah, the third. so yeah. it's it's brand yeah. new. Yeah. So I don't, I don't care. New. I just want to know. <laughs> no, I know, Jer. <laughs> I didn't that's know how, that's how I found out I'm about like, it. What? Literally, you want me to come on what? But yeah, I saw it on a Twitter link. I don't even know where yes. you are. Night, Bill. Yeah. Yes. All right, later, Bill. She she doesn't like promote her stuff enough. I'm like, I don't even know where. Like, I know you're doing a ton of stuff, but I don't even know what all you're doing. Yeah, unless and you so, follow her on like Twitter yeah, or Twitter. I don't know if she's on Instagram too. But yeah, those she are is. like her main. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because she's I, yeah she's yep. not in the chats ever. And Unless she has a, a yeah. podcast with uh, BB and uh, right. oh uh, yeah, JJ, uh, Rain. We're not yeah, Rain H, uh, Montana. Blank, right? Yeah. yeah. Montana oh yeah, she does that other thing with oh, uh, yeah, she, yeah, she has that other one with Montana Solaris Jordan. and uh, mm-hmm. and Montana. Yeah, yeah. She's exactly. Nish is all over the fucking place. She's, I know. <laughs> she's got so yep. much content out there. She's spread wide. She's, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, she like. I want to. I wanted to I wanted to plug some uh, some plug awesome, an awesome musician. This guy's name is uh, Possessed by Paul James. Okay, and he plays mm. he plays violin and then does guitar and banjo sometimes. But this guy is just awesome. He's got he's got a lot of soul and a lot um, of soul. Sings a lot of cool cool songs, original songs. Possessed by Paul James. Huh. Ooh, it's not bad. Go check it out. Also check out uh, Patreon.com slash Jingle Money. Yeah, oh, check out jing- jing- jingle money. And also yeah, my, check out- third, my third issue of my zines coming out soon. So if you want to get on to my uh, Patreon for five bucks a month, uh, my third issue of my zines coming out. Beautiful. Don't Jerry, who's on Max Mente tomorrow? Jiggle, right? money. jiggle, jiggle money. money. Don't, don't do jiggle money. <laughs> do jiggle <laughs> money. That's a different, <laughs> it's a different Patreon. <laughs> tomorrow night we have Salvatore Antithesis. Oh, you got Sal on? Oh, Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on that's great. Friend. Yeah, that's going to be good. That's Very fun. Oh, he's yeah. on Discord, I think. Uh, he's not yeah, too much really? on Discord. The, Twitter's yeah, the best place be. to reach Sal. He's a, Sal is, he's on, yeah, he's on Twitter like all day yeah. long. Like you just, right. he's like, I know. Yeah, he's, but yeah. It was Oregon meetup in 2018. Yeah, right. Yeah, he's a great, James, he's a, yeah. yep. He's a great Definitely, American man. Boy. Yeah. Yeah, hung on with him a bunch, man. Yeah, he's a cool yeah, dude. I've seen him in Colorado last year. He's okay. He's, he's a good guy. Nice. Oh yeah. Well, shit, guys, that'll do it then. Uh, oh, Cryptid Con's back on for oh, December. Ooh. Yes, it is. December. For December. All right. I can we'll have to keep one. an eye on that. I'm skeptical if they'll even be able to book uh, anybody. Yeah, right. In uh, December. If they're they going on, Christmas, we're gonna have a booth and. Uh, nice cruising with stick meetup so everyone plan <laughs> yeah um, yeah where's it at Jer? i mean i'll lexington, kick in kentucky <laughs> lexington kentucky okay mm-hmm. fly and i'll fl- i'll i'll, drink with you <sighs> I'll have to get my vaccine uh, <laughs> where are you at no, I will <laughs> smuggle you my fly zine I'm, smug you in. I'm in kentucky i still ain't wore a mask yet so i'll good. pick you up on the way I mean, it's not <laughs> okay I, i'll just say jerry i may have to throw you some gas money here yo dude yeah, this will be say, fun I, I'll I'll don't get to kentucky no hey just fly southwest you're good southwest is fine <laughs> yeah just fly southwest oh, yeah. You got no Tim issues. Cam flying. flying through fake ass space. That sounds like something. Oh, yeah, dude. Flying literally through literally free right uh, now. Literally, no, do, we, we've went Planes over this before. Right now. <laughs> All planes are is you get into the plane and then it's a teleport device. It's a simulation That's you right. sit in for a duration <laughs> while you just get teleported to your destination. <laughs> like, it's mm. VR. You don't actually fly. It's window. VR. Yes, you're no, in a VR simulation. <laughs> and then boom. Time. I'm plummeting to my doom. All the flight yeah. attendants are just under <laughs> the plane just yeah, dude. Plane plane crashes. Are plane fake. crashes are all fake news. Every plane oh, crash that's ever existed Elon is fake. Elon Musk just oh, made. Oh, oh, that oh went yeah, into the t- space. Yeah, his that little tin can. Oh, what? His yeah. fucking cylinders. Oh, we just his a goddamn a fake tin. shit. God, we it's just the- took a bunch of t- round tin. Yeah. Yeah, let's send these goddamn space. space the, these farm <laughs> silos. Let's it's send these like silos into space. Yeah, right. it looks like it's a, a special silo. once in a, a milled it's steel. A, it's a bunch of it's, it's a bunch like of special bullshit. Car, is dude. what it is. <laughs> it looks <laughs> so fake. It's real. Thank you, Suzanne. You took the words out of my goddamn mouth. Thanks for listening to Cruising with Steak, guys. I catch you, we'll catch yeah. you all next so week. It's, it's so fake, it's real. That's show title. Good night. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so long. And you farewell. Think it's, uh...
why metaphorical horses. I'm coming around the mountain on six wide metaphorical horses. I've been around long enough to know what makes the world go round and round. Money, money being summer around the top of the list. Instant gratification in a single transaction At the local golden arches I'm an 80s baby I'm a 90s youth Now I'm seeking and speaking truth in the 21st century So there's people in high places making decisions for you Saying what goes on in our democracy now Hey America, bear witness to my political suicide I'm coming around the mountain On six white metaphorical horses On a bench in a park, circling the letters and Newspaper headlines looking for meaning and Hidden messages. No, I haven't, I haven't gone, gone loony. Here, have yourself a look at the comic strips. Out the lies that have been fed to you. 